Hi everyone, I'm Sally Ann Harrison and I am a patchwork and quilting fanatic um, and I've been sewing all my life. I'm currently based um, here in Bristol um, but I used to live in the USA and that's where I picked up the sewing bug big time. I suppose you could say that my sewing journey began when I was about eight or nine. I distinctly remember the first thing that I ever made um, and it was I say I ever made on my own, obviously I did sewing at school, but I came home and I chopped up one of my mother's old uniforms and she used to work in a store. I cut up these little pieces of cotton and I made myself a bikini top and I can remember the absolute thrill of putting this little bikini top on and going out on my bicycle and riding up and down the road and that was the first thing that I ever made and I was totally, totally smitten. My claim to fame has to be um, demonstrating at the Houston International Quilt Show. Um, I am very heavily into wool applique and I developed a technique where you would use a perlay thread on the top of a sewing machine and they were interested in Houston I actually went along to demonstrate in open studios, studios whilst the show was on. It was really, really magical to have so many people that were interested in what I could do with a sewing machine. I am one of the longer running um, guests now on Sewing Street. Goodness knows how that happened. Um, but I still get an absolute buzz every time I come up and do a demo and I love receiving your messages and the feedback after the show. It's, it's absolutely amazing. I'm hoping to bring you lots of new techniques and different ideas. So do stick with me and follow my Sewing Street journey. Do you love sewing? Are you creative? inspiring and love to share your skills and tips with others. We're excited to announce Sewing Street's Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking, quilting, homewares and needlecraft to join the Sewing Street family and share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and Director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good luck! Good morning! Happy New Year! It's the first time I've seen you, isn't it? Happy New Year, everybody. How are you? Did you have a lovely time? Oh, I did. I went to London. I saw my friends Francesca and Pete and Luchan. Well, I say I saw Luchan and my godson. He went to work. He works in a bar, right? Didn't come home. Didn't come home till after I'd gone the next day. Got, well, he came home when we took Ripley out for a walk. He arrived home and then he'd gone to bed, so I didn't see him. Uh, and we watched House of Gucci, which was fantastic. Brilliant, brilliant. And we had a really lovely time, chill time, walk around Gunnersby Park. That was lovely as well. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope it's a fantastic one for you. Shall we start with today's early bird? Here we go. Now it is New Year, new hobby. New Year, new craft. What a brilliant way to start your quilting dream. You get this, it's a quilter's start. Oh, heading shot, blimey. This table must have been moved. I wasn't even leaning forward then. I'll do it from over here, shall I? Right, so here it is. It's 1999, it's a quilter starter set, A3 cutting mat, rotary cutter and ruler for 19 pounds and 99 pence. Not today, says Hannah. Who also says Happy New Year. Honey, you're very quiet. You miles away from your mic. Oh, that could be why then. 15.99. 15 15.99. You get all three. You don't choose one of them for 15.99. So let's oh, I've just clean the table and it's got stuck to the table. Uh, the photo on the website is green. You're getting a grey one. Look, you're getting the lovely grey mat here. So it's uh, centimetres on one side. It's inches on the other. It's got the 30 degree, 45 degrees. I mean, 19.99 is fantastic value, isn't it? If you've got a caravan, if you're going to be going away to your lodge, if you're going to be doing something like that, if you've got a motorhome, this is brilliant to have. Or if you go to classes, if you're going to start going back to classes, this is brilliant. So there, there's your inches and your centimetres on that side. I'm just going to turn you down now. 
because I'm echoing like Billy. No, no, I'm echoing really badly. Then you also get a rotary cutter, a 45 millimeter rotary cutter with the lovely soft touch handle, with the lockable um, blade and everything like that. How to replace the blade, it is fantastic. And you also, not only do you get both of those, you also get a ruler. Let me just cut it out of its bag. Oh, no, a ruler. Just met a girl named a ruler. Right. That was Hannah, not me. Look at this, look at this. You've got your inches, you've got your half inches, quarter inches. What I suggest you do is buy some of those little... Uh, oh. Oh, now. Now. I've not seen... I've not opened one of... What's that noise? No, they're like... It sounds like a helicopter's landing in the studio. Anyway, let me just get a bit of fabric here. You can't hear that, it's very loud in here. If you can't hear it at home, that's fine, I can cope. <gasps> now, I'm not saying it's a creative grid one, but it's got little stickers on the bottom. I was about to say, make sure you buy those little sucker things, but don't need to, they put something on it, haven't they? 15 99 £15, and all three, yeah, all three. Now, you can either give it as a gift, self-gift it, that's the way to go. It will go back up to 19.99 at midnight tonight. However, 19.99, still a brilliant price. Right, price comparison. Oh, excuse me, not direct. Same sort of thing. Oh, there you go. Alpha, 32.93. It's a funny old price, isn't it? 32. Oh, hang on. Yeah, 32.93. That's an Alpha version. Obviously, that's a that's a branded make. Is there another one? Did you say? Oh, and the ruler was a different size, was it? Oh, you got a square ruler in that one. Now, Millwood branding. Obviously, it's a branded one, but let's have a look how much this one is. Whoa, what was that? Thir now, it should be 43 59 and they've reduced it to 33 99 Now, obviously, it's the same size as everything of ours, as ours. Um, but obviously, ours is a different make. Obvs, obvs. Right. Ours should be 19.99, so 15.99. You get all three of those for 15.99. It's brilliant, isn't it? Make sure you check out. Patricia says, good morning. Love you. Love you too, Patricia. Sue says, morning, John and team. Happy New Year to you all. Looking to watching Sally Ann. Laurie says, good morning, John and team. Cousin Susan says, happy New Year, John and everyone. Suzanne says, good morning, John and the team. Uh, Anne Bentley says, morning, John and team. Happy New Year to you all. Carol says, morning, John and team. Loving the shirt. Thank you, Carol. I thought something bright for New Year's Day. Oh, no, it's not New Year's Day. My first day back. It's not New Year's Day. It's not New Year's Day. It's the third, isn't it, today? It's a bank holiday because, um, because New Year's Day was on a weekend, so you get an extra day. Oh, yeah, that's the point. No, today's not a bank holiday. Everyone's saying it's a bank holiday. But it's not, is it? Yeah, no, it's not, is it? It was at Christmas, it was, because Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Yesterday was a bank holiday, today's not. So, oh, no. Does that mean the whole office are coming in? Oh, no, I've put everything. I thought I'd be really eager, and I'll put everything for tomorrow out. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. At 15 99 $15.99, brilliant price. Yeah, because I've got loads of messages from people yesterday going, oh, you're having to work tomorrow, it's a bank holiday. No, it's not. Morning, John and all. Lovely bright shirt. Thank you, Emily. Keep going through, though, for this. Very, very popular. Remember, it goes back up to 19 at midnight tonight. That's that non-bank holiday Tuesday. No, it's Monday today, isn't it? Oh, hang on. No, it's Monday, isn't it? Yes, it is a bank holiday then. No, Hannah, it is a bank holiday. Because Chris, Chris, New Year's Day was on a Saturday, so you couldn't take that as a bank holiday. This is the first working day afterwards, so it is bank holiday today. Hannah's confusing me. Sorry, I said it was Tuesday. I got very confused. Morning, John. It is a bank holiday today, as New Year's Day was a Saturday. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you. Ah, oh, no, 15, 19. They're calling this Platinum Year as well, aren't they? Because the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. It is a bank holiday, John. Hubby's not at work because of it, says Princess. Princess, did you have a lovely birthday? It's Princess's birthday over the New Year. Oh, that's what... Oh, you see, now Hannah's sussed out why her boyfriend, Steph, is going in. He's the only person going into work today because there's got to refill the backlog. But he's the only person in. He's on triple time today. I'm not... 
I'm not. Just so you know, I'm just... Patsy, morning, John and team. Happy New Year. It is a bank holiday. Violet said it is a bank holiday in Scotland today and tomorrow in Scotland. Oh, we'll move up to Scotland. Um, I had a brilliant Christmas. Thank you, Tony. Happy New Year to you too. 15.99. I know. It's brilliant. There's an iPad on the floor under this table. Who was in yesterday? Okay. 15.99. Quarter of the stock's been checked out. Now I'm totally confused, says Barbara. Sorry, Barbara. Barbara, I'm sorry. Yeah, Hannah, say, have you put your clocks back? Blurter says, good morning. It is a bank holiday today. It is. I thought it was Tuesday. It's because I don't... Why isn't Rebecca Reed here today, though? Because Rebecca Reed was just Mondays. Oh, no, she doesn't have bank holidays off. So. Teddy's message on my bottom. Morning, John, North at Sound Street. Happy New Year from Teddy in Wimbledon. Happy New Year to you too, Teddy. We'll go, Happy New Year. It is a bank holiday. And I'm having... Oh, so I'm having my hair cut tomorrow or the next day then? Oh, I'm so confused. Yeah, I'll check. And I've got, I've got a new diary and it's different to last year's diary, obviously. Um, so when do I... Now, I've taken my decorations down. I've got nothing. I took them all down on New Year's Eve. Everything's gone off of mine. But... When do I need to take the pop-in ones down? That's Twelfth Night, isn't it? Fifth, Night of the Fifth, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, fifteen ninety-nine. keep going through. Julie says, Happy New Year, John. You're right, it is a bank holiday. My, happy, my hubby is happy. He's got another day off. I've Googled, and it is a bank holiday, says Anne. Kath says, Happy New Year and all at Sewing Street. Thank you very much for all your good wishes, everybody. Fifteen ninety-nine. Fifteen ninety nine. New year, new craft. New year, new hobby. Happy New Year, John. According to Callison Diaries, it's also Bank Holiday tomorrow. Why would it be tomorrow as well? I'm going to charge extra for tomorrow then, if that's the case. I'm not coming in if it's Bank Holiday tomorrow. No, and Rebecca Reed can do tomorrow. So this week, this week, I think I'm only in Monday, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday this week. I'm having my new doors fitted on Friday at last. Well, I'm not going to say anything until they're definitely there doing the doors. Um, I've decided on a pink kitchen. And there was something. I am having my hair cut one day this week. There was what, Han? Sorry. Half stock's gone. Half stock's gone. Keep checking out. Keep checking out. Keep checking out. Remember, it goes up at midnight tonight, back to 1999. Margaret, good morning. John, Hannah and team. Happy New Year to everyone. Now, Margaret, what were you doing awake at one o'clock this morning? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> morning, John and all, says Hillary. Oh, I was, about to, I was about to tell a story there. No, that's not airworthy. I can't do that one. <laughs> 1599. Graphics coming out. Oh, it's only a bank holiday tomorrow in Scotland, apparently. What colours are your new doors? They're French navy blue. A bit like a, oh, where is it? A bit a bit just a bit darker than this. And it, it hasn't got boobs now. And we're not allowed to say boobs on air anymore. Right, okay, let's move on then. That, remember that I will remind you about that later on, remember. Derek, Happy New Year, Hannah. Oh, it's not Elliot today. It's not Elliot today. It's Jesse today. Yesterday and tomorrow, both bank holidays in Scotland. That's nice. Is, it? Is that because Nicola Sturgeon said so? Right. I'm not political. Scottish knowledge. Scottish knowledge. It's either that or something. Anyway. Eight o'clock. We have got a fabric by Odile Bellier. It's gorgeous. I love, 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 love this fabric. I can't tell you. Then, oh, nine o'clock. We've got expert. This is supposed to be new, new year, new hobby. But we're going with expert quilting techniques from Sally Ann Harrison's. It's a book, though. The book is brilliant. Here's the book. The Wonderlust Quilts. Now, she, Amanda used to be an architect, or still is an architect. She's take, done 10 modern projects inspired by classic art and architecture. It's lovely. I have to say, I did think that was her skirt. When I saw, first saw the book, I said, Hannah, look at her Christmas skirt. And Hannah was like, John, it's a quilt. Anyway, it's a really, really gorgeous book. It's on pre-order now. Go and have a look at it. It's fantastic. Right, 10 o'clock. Oh, excuse me, hiccup. Got quilting tools. Then at 11 o'clock... We've got two projects, two projects in one hour. We've got a makeup bag that Sally Ann's done. 
Lovely, isn't it? Oh, it's a makeup bag, but she, she uses scissors and a rotary cutter to put her makeup on. And then we've also got a cushion. Yeah, it's sideways, but it's fine. Beautiful cushion. Did you take that, Jesse? What's the black thing behind it, Jesse? Oh, it's a part of a, a, a native lamp. Anyway, and then what's in my last hour? Oh, no yarn lane today because it's a bank holiday. Clearance. It's clearance at 12 o'clock. Uh, are you saying that or are you reading that? Hannah likes my shirt apparently today. She doesn't often say that. Makes me look slimmer, doesn't it? Right, okay, uh, there are three ways you can get in touch. You can message us by email. Studio at SoakStreet.com. Oh, right, now remember as well, I'll talk about that in a minute. Studio at SoakStreet.com. Don't forget to get your um, Search for a Star films in. You could be standing here with me. Well, no, you'd be standing here and I'd be standing over there. There you go, Search for Star. You just need to go to the website or send us a film. Send us a little film. Search for a sewing star. Oh, did I say something different? Search for a star, I called it. You need to be able to sew. That's part of, the, <laughs> that's part of it. Uh, the second way you can get in touch is by Facebook Live, which is where the ones I've been shouting out. Let's see if a very nice colour for your doors, says Cousin Susan. Jackie says, Happy New Year, everyone. It's a Royal Mail holiday today and tomorrow. Right, well, now, my, my lovely postman said he was back to tomorrow. Oh, no, he did say Wednesday. He did say Wednesday. He was a bit worried because he went, you've got, got much post this week, he said, before Christmas. Oh, it's not much for you this week. He said, your ladies have been letting you down this week. You've got much. Anyway, the third way is by going to the website. www. Oh, I'm not doing anything, look, it seems, in the first hour. www.tokestreet.com. Click on Watch the Show Live. You'll get a little squ uh, square with me in it. There's a little box there on the right-hand side that says, hello. These are the ones that uh, it's, it's Hannah, no, no capitals, no, uh, anyway, punctuation or anything. Uh, you click on there, you do have to be logged in to send it. Now, if you scroll down, there will be two columns in a minute. The left-hand column will say show deals and the right hand is pre-order. This is everything that we've got for the next five hours. You can order any of it now. You can order any, any, oh, look at that gorgeous fabric, Odile Bellier. Now, the bundles haven't got pictures, I'm afraid, so you'll have to go with me on that one. Um, anyway, oh, hang on, go back, go back, go back, go back. There's lots of bundles, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's the two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Loads, of, there, there's the book, this is Sally. Now, in this hour, what we did was we, did, we decided to not do bundles for you for each of the projects. We just thought we'd let you see the book for the first time, which you're loving already, I have to say. Uh, then we've got all the tools that she'll be using. Then this is my tool hour. It will be in a minute. I don't know why I've got 404 in there. Don't just put that in there. Okay, all of the quilt books, the threads. Now that, that, you, now that ombre stitches, that's when you have to be really careful. With. That's very, very limited now. Very limited. Uh, stripology. Stripology. I love, oh, there's that Fiskars. Uh, oh, I, I'm going to get myself one of those. I love those. How much is it? 64 something. 64.99, yeah. Then we've got other bits and bobs. I've already got that rotary cutter. I've already got those. I've already got that. I've already got that. Then, oh, look, now, now, now. You see the hummingbird and flash? Oh, you've got to buy that. They're beautiful. Got a cushion behind me on the shelf, actually. We made one of those. Right, keep going. Keep going. Then there's Sally Ann's two projects. She, oh, it's got makeup in it on that one. How funny. The picture we had this morning has got rotary cutters in it. Oh, no, that's the cushion. Sorry, that's the cushion. Then the makeup bag there. It's a makeup bag. Or it could be one with rotary cutters in. Anyway, keep going. Bundles, bundles, bundles. Do what? Yeah, that's, that's Sally Ann Fabric there at Liberty Fabric. Named, uh, she named it. Name this fabric anything you want, Sally Ann. I'll call it Sally Ann. Oh, yes. I didn't even see that. That's not, the zip is not in proportion with the rest of it. Then there's the cushion instructions. Oh, now, 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 now. On one of the things. Oh, no, no, ignore me. Ignore me, that's tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, hang on, I didn't see that. Sally Ann did that motor on the go, let's fly quilt there. 
So now in clearance, are they the clearance prices? So everything that hour will be crashed. However, if you check out now, you will, won't pay the, that price, you will pay the, the clearance price. Oh, we've got so much to get through. It feels like we'll be here for four, five hours or something, that, doesn't it? Fifteen. There's 15. There's one too many. 14. Yeah, there's 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I've got 15 here. Right, okay. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, yeah, you get seven. Oh, it says you get seven metres. I've got seven and a half metres here, so I just need to double check. Oh, Hannah's just counted them now. 103.52. How beautiful are these? Odette Balue. Magic Country Fabric. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a fat quarter for free, is it? Okay, right, so what you get is, you get 14 metres of fabric. No, 14 pieces, 7 metres of fabric. You only pay for, for 13 of those. And then as a free gift as well, you also get a fat quarter of that one as well. That's right, yeah? Ham? So this is 103.52. You've actually got half a metre for free in there. And that's a free gift as well. So what's this then? Yeah, so you get one of these for free, but you're paying for this. Why is that then? Okay, okay. So, 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 you get, so you're actually getting seven and a quarter metres of fabric. So it's all, it's all a little bit wrong here. Seven and a quarter metres of fabric is what you get, but you're only paying for seven, at, oh, six and three quarters. Oh, hang on, I'm confused. Yeah, six and three quarters. You're paying for 13. Yeah, but you're still getting half a metre for free. You don't get an half meter free. But you can get on split pay, 51 pounds and 76 pence twice. This fabric is beautiful. 7.69. 7.69 is what you're saving on the whole bundle there. Seven pounds and 69 pence. Uh, I've got all these fabrics by the half meter in a second, but you like to know, you might not know anything about Odile Bellier. Here she is. Here she is. Odile Bellieu has created design since graduating from Arts Appliqué, Appliqué in Paris. Oh, I started watching um, Call My Agent again. Apparently they're doing a fifth series and a film now. Whether it be for paper, oh, and the lady, you know the lady, the hard face one, she's in the film I watched, The House of Gucci. Yeah, she's not very good. Whether it be for paper, decoration, fashion or print, the gourmet of colour loves to bring some joy into people's lives. Since creating her own mark in 2011, she offers fabrics and sewing kits to share her bohemian world with us. Her nomad style takes us travelling at the pleasure of her inspiration. Now, I just need to point out, you see the picture on the right-hand side? That was a quilt that we had. Vix and uh, Delphine had it, right? Sold out in minutes. Sold out in minutes. I've got another slide about this range. Magic Country by Odile Balia. Now this is all, I, I'm not, this, uh, this is her words, right? A collection full of fantasy that has fun blurring the trail, mixing genres to create a fantastic universe. Women transform into gardens. You'll see all this in a minute. Women transform into gardens, feathers into blooms, plants become minerals, unless, of course, it is the opposite. La go from flower to flower, thank to thanks to footbridges as light as breath, and join the enchanting world of magic country. I think, basically, she just loves... A bit like Tula. It's just it's, it's what's going on in her brain. It's just what's going on in her brain and her mind at that time. Good morning, John and all, says Claire. And she says, Happy New Year, John. Wishing the team the best for 2022. Uh, Judith says, Happy New Year, John and team. Gorgeous. Right, what's the matter? Right, because we caused some confusion. 
because we cause some confusion at the moment you're getting half a meter for free and this is here by not by accident but you, you're going to get this for free now so it's a free fat quarter as well so you've got seven and a quarter meters of fabric you are going to get three quarters of a meter completely for free so just be a little drop just be a little drop, just to sorry because that's how under 100 pounds and look, look at the split pay, 49.83. Just because Hannah's sorry she made that mistake, she's saying. You get a half, you do get a half meter of that fabric. Here, look, here it is. You do get a half, so this one, you get half meter plus a fat quarter. So, but shall we say, we're getting all, you're getting all of that for free and you're paying for that. It was late when she did it. It was very late. And she has a lot to do, so I'm, we're not going to blame her. New year, new rules. Hannah's rules. No. Yeah, just did a little jump then. You didn't see that. There's only five left. They've flown out already and there's only five left. Should we go through it? Should we have a look at it, right? So what it is, is you get half a metre of all these, right? So we're saying you get this one for free. Now, this is the one where she's saying that ladies, f f uh, feathers turn into ladies and bridges turn into... I mean, it's beautiful, isn't it? I love this. Four left. Four left now. Yeah. Right, what, what number does it finish? This one. This is only available in the bundle, right? So when sold out by the half meter before we came to wear, right? But that means we can never recreate this bundle ever again. Gorgeous. Let me just move that over there. Isn't that beautiful? Do what, what? Yeah, you end up with a lot for free in this one because Hannah's messed, messed up. But anyway, look, so you get the beautiful... Oh, look, there's all... The, that's like a kaleidoscope of feathers, isn't it? Two left. Two big bundles left. We have got a couple of smaller bundles coming up as well. The gecko fabric's in the smaller bundle as well. Aren't they lovely? There's only two left, though. There's only two of these left. Oh! <gasps> What a way to start the new year with this joyous, glorious. The colours are incredible, aren't they? But there's that one in green. You've got little flowers there. Then this one's like minerals, isn't it, that one? Like little geodes, that one. I don't know what she's called it. Oh, she's called geodes. More people got that in their baskets. We've got stock off. But don't worry if you've missed out. I've got two little bundles here. And if you were one of the people who checked out before she took that extra bit of money off, you will, everyone pays, because nothing goes through until midnight tonight, so you will pay that lower price there. Right, now, I'll just show you here, this isn't the whole range, this is four pinks and four turquoises. I'm going to do the pink one first. So in this one, you get half a metre, you get two metres, basically, in total, for twenty nine ninety nine. Beautiful. There's no photo of this one on the web, so you'll have to go with me. So you get that beautiful, like, kaleidoscopy floral one. Then you get the jellyfishy one. There, this is beautiful. These are the little bridges, look, made of air. Little pagoda bridges going from different parts of the garden. Little, oh, look at the little mushrooms. Like, uh, the little mushrooms are like parasols. And then you've got the baby geodes in this one as well. Let me spin that one. Isn't that gorgeous? So you get all four of those. Half me now they're already cut. So if you um if you buy two, you'll get two cut two that they'll be cut into half meter pieces, basically. I have got a lot of these fabrics. Um and by the half meter the ones that haven't sold out. The mega bundle is now sold out. Yeah, now the gecko fabric, the only way to get it will be in the next mini bundle. It's not in this one. The cool one. Um, Claire likes Hannah's rules. Hannah rules okay, says Margaret. Tracy says, good morning, happy new year. What beautiful fabrics. Any of those fabrics, I can see you wearing them as a shirt. Oh, do you know what? I agree with you completely. Make gorgeous shirts, wouldn't they? I missed a message up there. Hang on. Um, beautiful. Gorgeous. 29.99. Tis a bank holiday today, remember? That's why nobody's in. 
It could be funny to see if some, anyone forgets. I bet Barry the book buyer turns up. He'll be here. I think Barry the book buyer's a bit frightened of me. Yeah. Hannah's got a soft spot for him. She says he's so sweet. She thinks that because his girlfriend makes really lovely fresh cream cheesecakes. Oh, have you not had it? Oh, just as well. Hannah starts on her, not noon. What's the one you're doing? What's it called? Second nature. Second nature. She's brought her, her rolled oats. No, her overnight oats. What have she got? There's carrot in your overnight oats. Oh. The one my brother had, had like yogurt, oats. It had something else in it. It was quite sweet. Oh, you picked that one. 29, 19, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Oh, she had carrot available to her already, she says. Oh, no. 29, I don't even like carrot cake with a big coffee. From that own. Car she loves carrot cakes. It's one of her five a day. Beautiful. Right, I've also got it in aquin now, or turquoise. But remember, the only way you can get the gecko fab brick, this one, is in this bundle now. The only way you can get it, it's not available by the half metre, the mega bundle is sold out, so you can get half a metre of it in here. And if you buy two, they don't come joined together. Oh, look, I've got baby jellyfish. La, 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 la. Baby jellyfish is on that one. Oh, what good. That's like passion flower, that, isn't it? Beautiful. I'm just going to get my water. I'm a bit um, parched. I haven't taught this much for days. Got to send our love to Samantha. Oh, here we go. Morning, John. So pleased to see you on today as I've got my hubby and son with COVID. Oh, no. Samantha in Lincolnshire, you take care. Are you near Louth? <coughs> Samantha, do you live near Louth? Um, we, I grew, when I was little, we grew up in Louth, uh, RAF camp, Grimbleby. I went, to, I went to Grimbleby County Primary. Anyway, look, don't look at me. Beautiful colours, aren't they? Happy New Year, John. Looking forward to all the goodies you'll be showing us this year. And from Perth. God, I can't wait. And we've got so many beautiful things coming up. Loads of gorgeousness coming up. Single figures on this one. How are we doing on the pink one? Right, I can't be, I'm going to tell you exactly how many I've got. Right, the Mega Bundle completely sold out. I've got 14 of the pink bundle left and seven of the blue. That's it. I've got a lot of the fabrics by the half metre. So if you want to buy enough to make a dress or a skirt or a blouse, I mean, I've got that. Not all of them. Obviously, the, um, the Gecko one sold out. Okay, I'm gonna. Sh I'm actually gonna. I won't go. I won't go through them, right? Because we're gonna do these by the half meter. If you look on the website, there are these really gorgeous bundles that Hannah's put together for. Her. I'm not gonna be going through them just yet because I'm not gonna have time. I don't think. But look, so there's one here which has got your. Um, what do we call this? Not blender, mixer, splodge. No. Melange, melange. So you get three melanges and three solids in that one. No, this is the three, three meter complementary bundle. Three meter complementary bundle. Bundle. Then I've got the this one here. It's one, two, three, four, five, two and a half meter green, fresh greens, right? Two melanges, three solids. These are lovely, even if you're not going to get Odile Bellieu. Then we've got this one. One, two, three, four, five. Two and a half meters of party pinks. Uh, two of which are the um, melange and three solids. They're lovely. Crazy Lorraine would like that one. And then, oh, this is nice. Ocean blue. Oh, these are beautiful bundles. If I get time to bring these back later, I don't know if I will. If I, I might. Oh, they're already going. They're already going. Yeah. So there's two melanges there and three solids there. I just want you to see those. Also, quite unusually, I'll just tell you about these. We've got two Lina Anderson wide, extra wide backing fabrics also, like bumblebees and flowers. They're on the website, but I'll show you those in the quilting hour. But they are there on the website already. Right, so, yeah, okay, let's just do this then. 
I'm just fold this one because this is the small one. I'll take them from the big one, then I don't get confused. And right, so that's the blue turquoise. That's the pink. Right, so that was the fat quarter there. So I'll put that there. So now, half of me by the half meter now. So this now, obviously in the bundles, you just get half a meter of each, right? Now you're able to buy it by the half meter off the bolt. Some of these are going to be very limited, though. I need to tell you. This one is AXU119. How beautiful. Seven pounds and 69 pence, half meter, 100% cotton, quilting weight, machine washable. Morning, John, loving the shirt. Happy New Year, says Lynn. You see, I, I agree with Carol. Any of these fabrics make gorgeous shirts, wouldn't they? Oh, she's just up the road from Laos, Samantha. Ah. Oh. Jane with a Y says, Jai, John, team, wish you all a happy new year. Love Sewing Street. Long may it continue to bring us all loads of information and entertainment from Jane. It is all about learning and entertainment this new year. It's new year, new hobby, new craft, new skill. Donna says, happy new year, John and team. Thank you very much indeed. Lynn's loving my shirt. Isn't that lovely? Seven pounds and six nine pence. There's the size of it. Look, oops. Beautiful. Can you not hear? That la sound, sounds like a helicopter landing in here. I'm not sure if it's the air con or not. Might be the air con. Right, now, can't do the gecko in turquoise, I'm afraid. Oh, I can do it in pink, can I? Oh, now she's thrown me. Oh, yeah, the geckos are slightly hit more hidden in this one. Yeah, they, the other one did as well. Look, there they are. The geckos are there. Oh, where are you? Hang on. Right, hang on. Look, there's, there they are. Geckos! That's a gecko. It's like a lizard. No, because it's, it's gecko. It's romantic when you call it gecko. Yeah. I don't know why it was the, it was the uh, aircon looked sounding like um, a helicopter landing. Because it's with flowers, look, and, and everything's beautiful. <laughs> They've called this one Plum. Oh, it's lovely. Buy the, you can buy this off the bolt if you want as much or as little of this as you want. Oh, hang on, you... You've just, you've just completely cut out. What did you say? Oh, pff. <laughs> Yeah. So what were you saying, Han? Yeah. See, five tips to make your gecko love you. Buy some Odile Balia fabric as well. A leopard gecko. We've moved on from geckos now. We've got, we've got cranes now. Cranes and passion flowers. Oh, do you want the number? Sorry. EZU107. Yeah, I'm just going to get these out. The pictures on the web are not. There you go. Look how beautiful is that. We are Monday, not Friday. Bins being empty. Carol? Carol, I've got no idea what that means. Our bins are going today. We're on recycling day today. So the cardboard and glass and the garden waste goes today. Uh, Ghislaine says, morning, John. Happy New Year to you all. We are Monday, not Friday. Bins being empty, question mark. Jan, the other Jan, says, good morning, John. No front. Late today, had to sort out the recycling. There you go. You all live in my village. What an exciting life I have. Yeah, I do mine last night. Happy New Year, John. Everyone says, Susan, sorry I'm late this morning. Back home in Derbyshire now. Ah, Sit now. Christmas over. New Year. Let's get on with it. Oh, isn't it lovely? Look at the flowers in the background. Or the starbursts. And then you've got the cranes. And then you've got the passion flowers. Oh, they're ibises. They're not cranes. They're ibis. Isn't ibis a crane? Oh. Yeah, Ibis is a hotel chain, but I don't think they're mini hotels, are they? 7.69. It was lovely to be back in London as well on New Year. I do love that drive on the A40 just as you come into London. I do get all excited. It's like going home. Anyway, moving on. 
Oh, they're wading birds, ibises are, apparently. Well, they're not wading there. They're flying there, aren't they? Now, this one is stunning, right? This one, I'll tell you the number. JQUI56. I love this. This is the one. Look, 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 look. So you've got the bridges drawn in. between. I'll move it up there. There you go. Look. The bridges are like the drawing, and then you've got these lovely ferns. Look at that leaf there, like that big heart. Beautiful. It's all about love. Look, there's the mushroom that looks like the parasol. Is it a mushroom? Is it a mushroom, though? Oh, have you watched? Did you watch um, Mars Singer? Oh, I love it. I haven't watched last night yet. I've watched Saturdays. I haven't watched last night. No, hang on. What day of the week is it today? Yeah, I've watched Saturdays, not Sundays yet. So don't tell me. Alan says, good morning, John. Happy New Year to everyone at Sound Street. Amanda says, happy New Year. Loving the show. <coughs> oh, Friday's when they usually get emptied. Haven't had recycling emptied since before Christmas. Oh, you need to move, Carol. That's not good. The only day my bin men have off is Christmas Day. That's it. I know. They cost a fortune, that's why. £7.69. I love that. It's beautiful. Floropolis, look. Happy New Year to all at Sayings Drink. Long may you continue. Missed due to work, but back now. Oh, Susan Bristol. Happy New Year, my love. Look at this. The set looks a bit empty, doesn't it? Is it because the Christmas decorations have gone? No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesse's saying his life is empty. Gorgeous, moving on. So we do little geodes in pink now then. And 84. Well, a few people have done geodes, haven't they? Uh, Tula did geodes, Kaif did geodes. I gave up watching Mars Singer, got fed up with all the ads and watched Call the Midwife instead. Well, you need to do what I do, Susan, is record it and then you fast forward to all the boring bits. My Joel Domino, what's he called? Joel Domino, whatever his name is. His suits are getting tighter and tighter, aren't they? Yeah. He seems to have grown into his new teeth as well, doesn't he? Yeah. Beautiful. It's what, sorry? Okay, Hannah refer prefers to call the midwife. That's on Sunday, though, isn't it? Call the midwife. Isn't it called the midwife's on a Sunday? Yeah, it's on on Saturday and Sunday, Mars Singer. Yeah, we're very confused where the days are at the moment. Right, now this one is like called Mini Plumets, I think. GHU118. Look, they're like, um, they look like Tiller Girls, don't they? Oh, do you not know what the Tiller Girls are? The Tiller Girls used to be on the Sunday night at the London Palladium and they're all tall, willowy ladies who do high kicks and stand in a long road. Like this, Hannah. They go like this. No, it's the, the Tiller Girls, and they go like this, and they go round, and they're like that. Sorry, Hannah, if I'm boring you. £7.69 pence, Hannah's being very, very facetious now. Mini plumets in green. These are little, fl little feathers. Oh, just wondered, who's doing the voiceover with Vicky in Search for a Star? Happy New Year, everyone. Oh, I don't know, Anne. It wasn't me. They didn't ask me. £7.69 pence. Is it Stuart, then? We'll have to have a listen in the break. I'll get Jesse to listen in the break through. Kaleidoscopes. Hannah says, when you plan out your quilt with a mirror, this will be perfect. If you know what she means, let me know. What lady was that? Oh, I didn't work with her, I don't think, did I? Yes, they do look like Tiller Girls, says Anne. Thank you, Anne, my love. Does he? 
seven pounds and six nine pence. Hundred percent cotton machine, washable quilting weight, mini plumets by Odile Ballou. Message on the bottom. Happy New Year, John. Lovely dancing from Kaylee. Thank you, Kaylee. Hannah hated it. She did. <laughs> she did. I did. <laughs> I didn't do any dancing this weekend. This Bangkok. Uh, this what was it called? New Year. No, we didn't do any dancing. Mind you, a friend of mine sent some pictures. He'd gone to a rave in East London, right? Was, was it in Manchester? I can't remember now. But anyway, he went, it shouldn't really have happened. There were so many people crammed into um, this space. It was just like, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Mini Jellyfish. I don't know if that's the official title. It's called VKUI56. Mini Aquatic, this is called. Mini Aquatic. Oh, now I'll put my hand in because these are small. Look, I've got these coming up in a minute. Look, they're big. They're big ones. These are the little versions, these. Yeah, photos do not have sense of scale. Uh, Tina says, Happy New Year, John. Excellent impression of a Tiller girl. Thank you, Tina. It's only because she didn't know what a Tiller girl was, you see. Margaret says, Happy New Year, John and Sewing Street Gang. Great to see you all. Such a cheery gentleman. I'm not really, Margaret. Just ordered some Odile fabric. I'm chuffed. To doll rags. Oh, I've not heard of that one before. I'm chuffed to doll rags. I quite like that. It's always meant to say, was it a text thingy? Predictive text. Sue says, loving the dance, John. Clearly born <laughs> for the stage. Yeah, there's one leaving in 10 minutes. Is that what you mean? Right. Beautiful. Oh, happy new year, John Hannah. Hang on. Happy new year, John Hannah from Christine. Thank you, Christine, my love. The kiss is only for Hannah, not for me. I was thinking about your mum yesterday. Uh, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday, because I had a blow through yesterday. It was lovely and sunny yesterday morning and breezy, so I had a blow through in the house. Hannah's mum always, uh, Hannah's mum always asks whether I've had a blow through or not. Q N U I 43. Right, on the website picture, these look the same size as the last one. Obviously, they're not the much bigger look. 769 for half a metre. This is aquatic in pink, this one. Free Spirit Fabrics, gorgeous quality. Tina says, yes, I do, John. You were just missing the feathers. Thank you, Tina. Mark, you know Sheila, who models for me on um, Pavers, and she's also on Ideal World as one of the models there. She used to be a Miss Bluebell dancer in Paris and the Lido and everything, and all the big, great, big, big feathered... She was, she was discovered at 16, a, a lady discovered her at 16, and she had to get permission from her mum, and she had a chaperone, and she went off and she did all this. There's pictures of her with Tom Jones, with Shirley MacLaine, with Eartha Kitt, dancing, you know, those big... Da, 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 like that. I know what fantastic, so exciting a life. The costumes are very heavy, and oh, well, I won't tell you what you have to do. Of course, it's nine in the morning on a Monday morning. Well, no, because they can create wind within your body, you see, so you get to release all the wind before you went on. Seven pounds and 69 pence for half a meter. Now I've got geodes big, geodes big in blue, this one. Again, no scale on the website. So I'll just show you the geodes I had earlier. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well done, well spotted. Look, that was the pink size earlier. These are bigger. These are bigger, these. This will make a lovely wrap dress, this. Wendy says, morning, loving the show. Oh, Jan, I forgot to wake Jan up. Well, it was a bank holiday. I think it was a French lady who didn't speak English. She was on sewing quarter with Victoria Pete. Happy New Year, gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, apparently she was Dutch, Jan. Dutch. And she was only on with Victoria Pete. Thank you. No wonder I don't remember. Oh, Jesse remembers her. He's doing an impression. Your shirt is the fabulous pairing for the Odile collection, John Inspired. Thank you, Margaret. 7.69, seven pounds and 69 pence for half a meter. It's lovely, isn't it? I'll put my hand in so you can see the size. Gorgeous. Oh, Jessie won't stop talking now about that lady in her mirrors. I think Jessie's a little bit in love with her. Right. 
This one's called Bells. Silver Bells. Uh, well, I can only guess that it's YVUI18 because it's got a very strange label on it, which is normally the one that's the, the shelf it comes off, not the number, isn't it? Bells, this one's called. Mm. Oh, actually, do you know what's clever as well? Can you pull out a little bit, Jesse? This looks like it's bells, but then look at the, there's different, not different coloured background, but they've spaced it every so often, they've spaced it differently. Yes, yeah, so it looks a little bit like lizardy or gecko y. Because they're very romantic geckos. Well, what would you rather say? Oh, I'll look at your lovely blouse. It's got geckos on. Or look at your lovely blouse. It's got lizards on. No response. Doesn't matter. No, that's a guinea pig. Right, here we go. No. These are fronds, these ones. Uh, D-A-V-I-60. I've no idea. Hannah said, what's the lizard? When you're on holiday, if you frighten it, its tail falls off. I've no idea. June says morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, June. Oh, it's nice to be back, isn't it? It won't be open, Hannah. It's a bank holiday. The pet shop, Hannah was going to go to the pet shop and ask which lizard's tail falls off when you frighten it. They might not sell them in your part of the world. 769, you've only got an MA to do. And getting, you know, that. Now, what date is your boyfriend moving in? Oh, <gasps> this Saturday. Like in five days' time. <laughs> Am I on with you next week at all? This will be fun. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Now, I've got fronds again, but this time in really lovely turquoise. KTUI 54, this one. Oh, she's ahead of me on that one. Isn't that lovely? The turquoise in that is so fresh. Gecko's tails fall off, Hannah. Gecko's tails fall off, says Tracy. Well, I didn't know that. And the tails still move afterwards. So that's like chickens. When it, my, when I was a child, well, no, 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 no. When I was a child, you, uh, we used to go to the market in Louth. You could, I think it was in Louth, might have been before that, but you could choose the chicken you wanted. And then they'd do that and then they'd let it run up and down. And I had nightmares about it for years. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Hope there's no children watching. You should be doing all your <laughs> homework before you go back to school. £7.69. <laughs> it was a childhood. It scarred me for life. <laughs> Gorgeous. One more fabric and then that's the lot. Now this is the biggest print of the whole collection. Maybe should have done it first. Look at this. This is amazing, this one. Yeah, that's the one. It's called Plumets, not mini Plumets. Plumets, this one. It's huge, look. Trudy sent a message in there. Morning all, my mum also had the opportunity to be a bluebell girl, but sadly my nan wouldn't give them. Oh, Trudy. You see, uh, she, uh, Sheila's mum and dad were a bit like, oh, she's only 16. But, and they went, and she was, because... Uh, it's well known for being topless, isn't it, you see? But at 16, you weren't allowed to do topless. You had to wait till she was 18 before she did topless. It was, it was thought of as being, like, so glamorous, wasn't it? Like, she got, and also, they made friends for life. You know, it's been, what, how, how old Sheila's, you know, I'm not going to say how old Sheila is, but you know what I mean? It's been a long time. They just had a reunion and everything, and they're all the best of best friends. Hi, it was Petra Pins, the Dutch lady, and Dutch Heritage Fabrics. Happy New Year. Oh, thanks, Roxana. Oh, it was because I wasn't in that day, that's why. Is that why you're vegetarian? Oh, I don't know, June. I think it's because I... Well, it might be. 
Morning, John. I'm so excited. My husband has built me a craft room. I've just got to fill it now. That won't be difficult. I love the colour of that fabric. My second favourite colour, says Susan. Beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous fabrics, these. Oh, more. Oh, here we go. Lizards that tail... Hang on. Lizards that tails fall off we call chit-chats. And we saw in Singapore from days. Ooh. Was that dies? Days, I think, days in Northamptonshire. Oh, that's nice. Singapore, lovely. Right, OK, so now I can't offer you the mega bundle. I can offer the little bundle still in the pink, first of all. Here you go. 29.99 for two metres of fabric. Remember, they're already cut into half metre pieces. Twenty nine ninety nine. Can you hear beeping? It's not the oven. There's nothing. On, it's, there's nothing in here. There's nothing in here on the cooker to make the cooker beep. So it must be in there. When we came in, Jesse said to me, "Oh, John, have you already taken your microphone?" And you, they was like, "No. Oh, well, that's not my job. I'm not allowed to do that." And somebody put everything in a really weird place yesterday. So who was in yesterday? Twenty nine ninety nine. No. Oh, Victoria Pete. No, Victoria Pete says, Jan, I missed the reference. But yeah, we, somebody said earlier that you were in with it, yeah? Petra Pins. Good morning. I think, good morning, Victoria Pete in Gibraltar. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. Uh, Lynn Tewitt. It was her birthday yesterday. Lynn Tewitt's birthday yesterday. Hello, John, everyone. Happy New Year to all. What beautiful fabrics. I know, aren't they gorgeous? Mega bundles sold out. Quite a few of them are about to sell out on their own. This is the pink bundle of two metres here. Now, how many of these have I got left? Okay. And then there's 14 of those left. And then the turquoise one. Very popular, this one. Oh, there's only four of these left. Four of those left. There you go. Um, Alan, I'm fine. Thank you very much indeed. Happy New Year. Twenty-nine ninety-nine. Apparently, if a lizard's tail falls off, it can grow seven new tails. Not seven in well, all in one, seven times. It can replenish it seven times. Oh <laughs> no, it can't grow seven. I do apologize. Severed is what she said, not seven. I do apologise. She's so excited. Right. What are we going to do? I've got two minutes left, right? Right. Very quickly, then. Is that this one? Yeah, yeah. This is gorgeous, this bundle. It's called the complimentary bundle. Well, we're not supposed to be saying complimentary. We're supposed to be saying coordinated, but there you go. Complimentary means free, and I think she might have spelt it the free way. It's not free. Oh, you Googled it, did you? <gasps> Blimey. No news on the cats. Now, I spoke to Cherry briefly over Christmas, but I think she, Cherry's the sales manager at um, Gems, and a lot of people are having health issues and things, so I think she was a bit busy. Anyway, look. You get the green melange, you get the magenta melange, and you get the aqua melange. Then you get the pink, the dark teal, and the chartreuse in the solids. Three metres of fabric. It is spelt the correct way. A complimentary as in going with, not for free. Karen says, morning, John. Happy New Year from me in Camden. Did you get the football? Did you get the Arsenal? Karen, did you get that? It was on New Year's Day, wasn't it? And she was worried she'd be too hungover if she went, because she's Scottish, Hogmanay and all that. Oh, I watched Jules Holland. Oh, it was awful. Oh, it was dreadful, in my own opinion. No, just well, you didn't step to watch it, because it was awful. And they were a bit, they cheated a little bit, because they just kept showing clips from old shows. And his trousers were so tight round his waist. Oh. 
I'm in pain thinking about it. So that's your complimentary bundle. Sorry there's no picture of these on the website. They were just so new. We had to bring them to you. Right, this is your greens, your luscious greens. Oh, Alan's making his own pin cushion. Karen did get to the... Oh, beaten. Got beaten, but played really well. Oh, can't have played that well, though, eh, Karen? Uh, anyway, in this one, you get the melange in green and in that limey colour, and then you get the three greens in there as well, in the solids, £22.45. New Year television was rubbish, says Lynn to it. But then most of the holiday has... Hang on. But most of the holiday has been... As, hang on. New Year TV was rubbish, but the most of the holiday has been... Oh, dear. Been what? Good. You're saying most holidays have been good. Don't get me started, says Karen. <laughs> Christmas Day... I don't think we watch Christmas Day telly on Christmas Day. 22.45. Fresh greens, these ones. Right, moving on, because look, we've got to get ready for um, Leslie Ann. Sally Ann, even, who's Leslie Ann. <laughs> as soon as I said that, I thought, my friend Leslie Ann's not coming on, is she? Not today. <laughs> right, so this one, you get your two melanges in the aqua and the indigo. Oh, there's only four of these bundles left. TV was rubbish, she says. Oh, was it? I, can't, I don't know if we watched that much TV. 22.45. I watched all the Stephen Sondheim tribute shows. I've tried to watch Anything Goes. That was rubbish. In my opinion. My opinion. That of the channel. Well, I, I, I. And then last but not least, we've got the pinks. I don't know what she's called it. Party pink, I think she's called it. Party pinks, this one. So you get your two melange and your three solids in there. I'm wondering if this year, what's, well, I should, I, I've looked this up and I've forgotten it. What's the Pantone colour of the year this year? Twenty-two, well, I didn't get it. Twenty-two pounds and forty-five pence. Party pinks. Gorgeous. Right. Do not go anywhere. Uh, Sally Ann, it's a brand new, no, new year, new craft, new, new hobby. This book is brilliant. Wonderlust Quilts. It's coming up now. Sally Ann's going to show you all lots of, she's going to show you Y seams. She's going to show you curved seams and she's going to show you Me fabric. I, was, I knew the word me was in. I was like, me, 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 me fabric. I oh, know. We will see you in four minutes from now. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. 
Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Do you love sewing? Are you creative, inspiring, and love to share your skills and tips with others? We're excited to announce Sewing Street's Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking. Quilting. Homewares. And needlecraft. To join the Sewing Street family. And share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and Director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good, Good luck. luck. New year, new hobby, new year, new craft, new year, new book. <laughs> this book is gorgeous. Oh, before we do the book, don't look at the book. Say hello <laughs> to Sally Ann first of all. Morning. There she is. Big wave for Jan. I'm getting the wave in first. Oh, are you good? Yeah. She's up. She's awake. Is she? No, oh, she's that's awake. She's fine. Right. Okay. This book is brilliant. I'll get Sally Ann to tell you about the moment because Sally Ann came in and went, I've read all this. I've read all this book. It's brilliant. <laughs> I've read all of it. 1399, it's called Wonder Lust Quilts by Amanda, I presume you say that, Lanes, Leans, Leans. Anyway, she uh, has done 10 modern projects inspired by classic art and architecture. Now, uh, the first thing I said to Sally Ann is, is it beginner, intermediate, like I was doing? She said, if you can do some sewing, if say you've been a dressmaker and you've done some sewing, think, oh, I want to do a bit of quilting, this would be brilliant for you. If you've done a little bit of sewing, this would be perfect for you. It's called Wonder Lust Quilts, and it's beautiful. Look at this. I'll take you through the book, first of all. Here it goes. Ten modern projects. Now, I'll let Sally Ann do all the talk about it because she loves it. She absolutely loves it because she says the book is it's not just told you what to do. It gives you inspiration. It gives you ideas. It grows with you and everything like that. So I love all of this, all the all the inspiration behind all the patterns and everything at the beginning. Look, architectural detailing and things like that. And then we then have uh, different kind of patterns and things like that going on. So the first one there, look, isn't that lovely? She calls that one eggs and darts. Then we have aqueducts, which I think she might have spelt incorrectly. I could be wrong. Uh, look, there it is in, in situ. New look, lofty sort of thing. Then, look at that. Isn't it lovely? Now, when I first saw this, I went, oh, I don't know if I like all those big spaces of nothingness. But she's done a quilting line. Very, very simple quilting lines in there. I don't know if you can see it there. Beautiful, isn't it? And then look at this. Sally Ann's going to talk to you all about this uh, during the hour. Then we've got architectural sketch. Look. Look, everything's, how beautiful, look at that. It's, it is a whole, look, whole other approach. And it's very, very simply done. It's not done, 
Um, I don't want to say it's haphazard, but it's done almost like freehand almost to create that really lovely look. Then uh, look at this. Oh, this is the one that's on the front. Look, this is the one that's on the front. Flowing fabrics. That one's called taken from these beautiful uh, sculptures. Then we've got, um, I mean, there's so much in here. There's, oh, there's that picture again. I love this one. Now, have I missed out the picture? No, it's not that one. Hang on, there's one coming up. Look, I love that one. Just very, very organic. Look, you see where the inspirations come from? See, it just means that you can pick up. I know a lot of ladies put on Facebook, oh, there's something wrong with me. I've just seen this tile, these tiles in a floor. Or I've just seen this <laughs> and how it inspires them to do quilting. Well, this is the same thing, look. How, I mean, you can use it. to. It's just brilliant. Then you've got this one here, layered conversations. Where's that there? That's, um, uh, why do, where she went? Oh, Jerusalem. Oh, no, hang on. Jerusalem, Rome, and Athens. She said she'd been to. She doesn't say which one, which one that one is there. But it's incredible, isn't it? Then all the details you need there. Then you've got temple steps. You see how it, she's, it's just so clever. She's taken all of her inspiration. You see, look. So she's taken her inspiration from crumbling relics. But then look how modern and New York lofty and contemporary that is. I like that ceiling. Then what else have we got here? Then tessellation. Sally Ann's in love with this one. She absolutely adores that one. But there are Y seams involved. She's going to show you how to do Y seams later. Taken from early Roman mosaics there. Beautiful. Then look at this. Look at these. Pillowcases. So if you don't want to go on, go in and start with the quilt quilt, start with the cushion. Beautiful, isn't it? Look, taken from the Roman flooring there. Then we've got, oh, I was going to say Lawrence Fishburne. Lovely Fishburne. <laughs> I don't know Lawrence Fishburne, no. <laughs> he is an actor. Okay, what's in here then? Beautiful, look at that. How lovely is that? I mean, they've got a wall hanging, but wouldn't that look stunning on your bed? And then in it, you've got all your different things that you've learned through, from the quilt. I think that's lovely. You, those flying geese look like they're kind of longer and thinner than usual, don't they? Yeah, they're from templates. Oh, there's templates for yeah, those. Yeah, there's a few little templates in that one. The look, I love that. I love those colours as well. Actually, if you used Hannah's, what was your green, what was your green bundle cos? French greens, that would look lovely in that one. Or imagine that in the pinks, the party pinks as well. Or even the complimentary bundle with the pinks and the greens in it. would be lovely, wouldn't it? Well, there she is. And then at the back here, unusually for a quilting book, but there's templates. There's all sorts of templates. I'm not going to rip it out because you have to take that out of the book. Uh, what a fantastic book. We're already £3 lower than the recommended retail price at £13.99. Beautiful, isn't it? Inspiration for the quilt and then the quilt itself. Thirteen ninety-nine. Now, I think what Sally wants, you want to show several things. Don't you? What's the first thing you want to show? It was the me fabric, was it? Is it called me fabric? Yeah. So you don't want me to jump? No, no, uh, that's, what, that's all we started. I thought you, that's where you started because that's where we started in uh, prep earlier. But um, you go wherever you want to go. Yeah, I'll start with that. I'm quite happy okay. to start with that. So, yes. Um, what an inspirational book. I mean. Oh, yes, please tell me what you think about the book because I know you came in saying you'd read it all. And yeah, so I am more of a traditional quilter and I don't generally go for modern quilts. Um, but when I looked at this book, uh, I was smitten by the, the aqueducts. I was absolutely smitten by it. I don't know whether it was the blank space or. But I mean, it is, it's got a very modern look to yes, it. Yes, there, there it is on the, on the screen at the moment. Look. And what she does throughout the book is she takes things that are um, classical and you know, ancient sort of history and brings it to life with a modern sort of looking quilt mm -hmm. twist, which is, so she's not just giving you, saying, make this quilt, make this quilt, make this quilt. She actually gives you the patterns and then she shows you how she creates and what the inspiration was for them. And um, one of the things that a lot of people I know like to do, see if I can find it, is drawing, telling you how to, I can't find it now, 
Why is he looking for? Use a drawing to actually bring your drawing to life. Here it is. Turning your photos or sketches into a quilt, which is obviously what she does in this book. Right. Yeah. And she's showing you a step-by-step -step process using a grid. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. That's clever. So you could take one of your own. You could take her picture. You could take one of your own pictures and create things like that. Yes. So it relates to this particular... So I'm going off piste already. Um, it relates to this particular quilt in the book, uh -huh. which is the template. Oh, good. Your templates are out. I didn't yeah. want to rip them out of my book. So that quilt comes from this template in the book. So this is a full size template. And she shows you this. Hang is on, a let's just have a look at Jessie to come in on that. Hang on, this Can is coming in. Am I there. standing in the right place? Yeah, you're in the right place. Jessie's camera's not that so. Yeah. There you go. Brilliant. So this is one that is actually pieced. Um, but she gives you all the shows you how to actually put it all together. And she uses freezer paper templates. Oh, okay throughout to actually build this up but that is what she's made this from doing what she suggests she shows you in the book how to do so so that one she yeah. calls that an architectural sketch that one I yes think, doesn't she? Yeah. yeah so she's showing you not only is she just giving you the template she's showing you how she got there and how you can use the same system to get yes because you might not want exactly what exactly she's done, but yeah. you can create use her techniques to create whatever you want i love that one i think that one's gorgeous because if you look when you get the book if you look at you see the beige and the cream sweep if you look inside there there's lots and lots of just lines of quilting just kind of but they're not regular lines they're no. not precision lines they're kind of hat you know what i mean they're kind of uh, freehand sort of thing it's just a Adorable, isn't it? And also, it's not too big. It's only twenty-three by thirty, so it's a sort of it's going to be like a conversational. Well, actually, that's that size there. Yeah, isn't it? yeah, exactly. If that's the actual yeah. finished size. Yeah. But then, if you wanted to, you could then flip it and do complete arches. Couldn't you see this, this here? She's yeah. just taken a section of it, hasn't she? Whereas if you then uh, fl flipped it over, you could create a, a whole arch, and it'd be beautiful. So you already sent my mind into a spin, Sorry. so I'm sort of like putting it sort of like four of them yes, and yeah, making yeah, a, that'd be an oval it? sort yeah, of look to it. It would be amazing, yeah. Okay. And also do different colours, like she's done it in the sandstone colour, but yep. you could then make it really, really contemporary by using reds and pinks and greens and things like that, couldn't you? You could. Um, Jan says, big wave, Sally Ann. Morning. Uh, Isabel says, morning, John and Sally morning. Ann. Happy New Year to you both. Looking forward to watching. Well, happy New Year. Uh, Diane says, good morning. Happy New Year, Sally Ann. Jackie Lewis says, happy New Year, Sally Ann. So lots of love coming in for Sally Ann. Right. OK, so what's the first thing you're going to show us? Then? OK, so I'll go back to what you, where I was meant to start with the me made fabric. Yes. Yes. So let's go back to. So it was the aqueducts. Yeah. Totally inspired when I saw that. Look, I love the, the geometric of that. Yes. And when I started reading about it, what she tells she tells you how to make something called me made fabric, which is something that I have never ever come across before. And what she's saying is that um, you know like you use leaders and followers? Yes, yes, yeah. That she uses a leader every single time she pa she pieces a patchwork piece and then she just puts it down into her stash. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then eventually she takes all the pieces. So she's just sewn two pieces together and starts sewing them all together to make a bigger and bigger piece. So she's creating a me made, made fabric. fabric. Yeah. So I had to have a go. Of course. I mean, this is what I did on Christmas Day in the morning whilst my husband was cooking. Oh, ah. Oh. Yeah. So I took all my green fabric. Yeah. Now we haven't got this green fabric. No. This is st stuff from your stash box, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yes. This is just stuff. And I just pieced all these pieces together. I used a lot of starch. Um, and I was, I enjoyed every minute of yeah. it. Yeah. So you literally just took scraps? Scraps out of my box and started sewing them together. I took them all for, all in one colour. Uh-huh. Um, just because I probably have more green in than anything else. Yeah. But yeah, and I've, you, it does take quite a bit of starch. If you can see the back as well. Right. Oh, and wow. I like the back as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You could almost start doing things with that because that looks like, tell you what that looks like. You know medieval times when you had your three, your fields and one had clover, one had wheat, yeah. one had bar. That kind of like, that kind of feeling to it, isn't it? 
Anyway, yeah. that's lovely. So you've literally, are just they so all so straight so. edges or are they all different shapes? So they're all different shapes, but they're all straight edges. You have to piece together on a straight right. edge. Um, and I did use quite a bit of spray starch uh -huh. and flatter and all sorts of stuff to try and keep it as robust as possible because when you come to cut it apart, you're going to have some sort of bias edges here and there, etc. Did you use a smaller stitch or did you just use your regular quilt? I used a two. Oh, I was going to say, cause yeah. we, because if you use a bigger stitch, if you then start cutting that out, you'll, all, all your bits that you cut over are going to start undoing, yeah. aren't they? But a two's a good one to use, isn't it? So Fantastic. That, that was my piece of me made yeah. fabric that I've yet to do anything with. Yeah. Um, and then that brought me on to the fabric that I was given. Okay. Which was this lovely Moda. So what's it called, Moda? Uh, this one here, it's called Moda Boudoir Basic Grey. I'll, I'll sh I will show it to you, we've got it for sale in a minute, but I haven't got the graphics available at the second. So if you just carry on, Sally, and I'll bring the graphics okay. in when, uh, when I can. So, yeah, so I opened up this, it's got, it's got some lovely greys, and it's also got like a sort of almost brick shade in there somewhere. Can't see it at the moment, but there is a little bit of a brick shade in. Uh huh. Um, like this, this, this. In in the in the bundle here, I'll show you more thoroughly. But in the bundle, you've got these different kind of brick, this taupey brick. Is this one you mean? Yes. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. So you've got blacks, whites, greys, and that lovely kind of pinky taupe in there as well. Boudoir, yeah. it's called. Anyway, yes, I've got So what are you doing? So going back to the aqueducts, I wanted to make some me-made fabric using this 10-inch right. layer cake. So the way I, I decided I was going to do it is I'm going to cut it up like a crazy, I would a crazy quilt block. Uh -huh. So I have got five, let's see, five individual, let's make sure I've got five, three, four, five individual okay, layers we're just, there. Okay, we're just talking about this Moda Boudoir 10-inch char uh, layer cake kind of things. Okay, and then I would just cut it like you would yeah. if you were doing a crazy quilt block. So. Right, so you've literally put five 10 inch squares on top of each other. Yep. So then I'm just going to cut it. Anywhere? Yep, well, cross this way. So, yeah, there is a bit of a technique to this. Okay. So you want five pieces and across this way. And oh, then I'm going to take this one. <laughs> Make sure I don't go wrong. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not doing that at all. <laughs> oh, no, that's fine. Right. I've got to keep it in order. Uh huh. The ruler that Sally Ann's using is just going to go through the graphics next. Right. So then I put them back as a square. Right. What you would do then is if I start with this one, uh -huh. I'm going to take that top one and put it. Whoop, Look at that, it hasn't gone right the way. Oh, through. need a new Anyone? blade. Yeah. There we go. Right. I'm going to take that top one and put it on the bottom. Uh huh. And I'm going to take the top two of the next one. Uh huh. Put that. Uh, Karen from Wigan says, I often do this, joining all the scraps together to fabric to create a piece of fabric and well, then I make zip pouches and purses with it. They always look fabulous and great way to de stash all your bits. Yeah. Uh, it's so lovely to see Sally Ann this morning, says Susan. Teresa says, good morning, Sally Ann. Happy New Year to you. Good morning. What a brilliant idea, Susan, another Susan says. So you take one off the first one, yep. two off the second one. I look at that, I've got two the same. Three off the third one. I was wondering why it didn't work, because I've got two the same in there, looks like. What, yeah. two, two exactly the same? Yeah. Oh, Sally Ann. In the five. So this is the thing to be wary of, not to turn it around. So yeah, I use two the same, so it okay, doesn't quite doesn't matter, show. But what, what you're going to do then is if you join, just join them back up again. So you'd sew along here, along here, oh, those two pieces. Oh, well, you're creating new 10 inch squares again, yeah. but just, so, oh, well, well they'd then, be smaller than that, wouldn't they, because of the seams. And then as you remove them, look, so this would be the first block, and then you go down to the next layer. So that would be all involved in block one. And then this would be in block two. Oh, I see, yes, yes. So then you'd end up with five of those, and I just then join the whole lot together. And create a whole great big sheet of fabric. Yeah, very similar to that, but, yeah, yeah, but yeah. long. Yes, and it'll also sort of have a repeat in it, because the shape 
would repeat, wouldn't repeat colour wise, but it would, yeah. the shape would repeat. Yeah, and it's very, very quick to do that. Yeah, yeah. how fantastic. So, and then so that was using the Moda Boudoir 10 inch charm pack, 42 pieces, 44 pounds and 99 pence. Okay. Beautiful, isn't it? You'll see all of those being being used because now, so you then created your own me made fabric. Yes. To then create the aqueduct. That's right. Right. Okay, let's give some of these a press. So. Oh, Jan, your friend Jan, our Jan. friend Jan. I piece fabric like that to make fidget quilt, she says. Oh. Very affected, lots of visual interest. Didn't know the process had a name. No, we didn't. You didn't. We didn't. We'd not heard of it before, have we? Me made fabric. No, I. No? Oh, oh, gosh. oh, you're right. Got the whole thing. No. Nope. Right, there so we now we're going on to aqueduct. Yes. So I'm just going to give these a bit of a press because they're a bit crumpled. Right, yeah. So there you can see there's a piece that I've just cut out. It, obviously, the cutting out sizes are all in the instructions. Of course, yeah. But there's oh, wow. a piece. So basically, it's saying cut a strip, I don't know, that looks like two and a half inches by nine inches or something like that. Yeah. But it's you cut it out of the me made fabric, so automatically you've got all the interest. You're yeah. not <laughs> getting on with that iron this morning. <laughs> no. You've already got the interest of all the different fabrics going in all different directions on there. I'm getting used to it. Right. In the back of the book uh -huh. are the templates right. for the aqueduct. So what I've done is I've just traced them off onto freezer paper. Okay, so we've got freezer paper here today. So you love freezer paper, I don't love you? freezer paper. So anyone who's not fully conversant with freezer paper is it's fantastic for templates. Yeah. Basically, it has a paper side and a shiny side and the shiny side you actually sticks to your fabric but it doesn't leave any residue. Because it's not got glue on it, has it? No. So you can use it probably a template like this six times. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, that many times. So here are the templates that I've pulled off to make the arches of the aqua. Oh, can you shut your rotary cutter, please? Okay. I'm just worried <laughs> for you. Not me. Who was it? That's all right. Rita. Thank you, Rita. Reva, Reva, Reva. All right, let's get these on here. Uh, Amanda says, morning and happy morning. new year to you all. Last day before going back to work. Thanks for all the great shows over Christmas. Um, Crazy Rain says, good morning. Right. Okay, so I have, I'm going to make the arch piece at the top of the, I don't know if you can... This so is the, the little yeah. ones or the big, the big, the big one. one. Oh, the big one, yeah. Yeah, I haven't done any of the little ones. Yeah. But we like the little ones. We were talking about the little ones. No, I love the little ones. I think yeah. I'd want to use more of the little ones across the top, like between each layer or something like that. Okay, so I'm just going to peel the, the templates off. Yeah. Right. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of curved piecing. Which a lot of people are frightened of curved seams, yep. aren't they? But we're not going to be frightened of no. them. So I'm just going to fold this in half and find the midpoint. And I'm going to find the midpoint of this piece as well. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to put those mid pieces on top of each other and pop a pin in. I think you've got these really fine pins, haven't you? Which ones have you got? Fine pins. Oh, yes. Uh, oh. Yep, yeah, I've got the clover quilting pins fine. Thank you, Thalia. 100 in the box there. 9 okay. You've got green heads and orange heads. Right, so you pin the centre. Yeah. Now I'm going to do something a bit weird so that I can show you two techniques. I'm going to put some glue on this half and I'm going to put some pins on this half. And then I'm going to hold my breath and I'm going to sew all the way around. Okay, perfect. <laughs> if anything goes wrong, I'm going to blame you, John. Uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, so what do you... A so third of the book has gone, everyone. A third of the book has gone. I knew it would be popular. It's gorgeous. Lovely brand new book. New year, new skill, new year, new hobby, new year, new craft. Well, we don't know which one it is, so I'm saying all of them. <laughs> nice bracelet, Sally Oh, it's from... 
um, Karen, Karen, yeah. Karen Hughes. Oh, it's, oh so, it's, it's who made it? Yeah. So he's made that to message in. <laughs> Self-advertising there. Karen from Wigan. Right. Howlet, they're called. Howlet. How light beans. I think I saw, not beans, beads. I think I sold that, those when I was a jewellery maker. Yeah. Right, so what are you doing first? So all I've done is I've started putting some pins in one side. Okay. So I'm going to need to ease this all round. So just sort of, it takes a little bit of fiddling and you could put like a pin halfway as well, which I haven't done on this You half. could do what, sorry? So you could put a, like a quarter way pin, does oh, that Oh yes, 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 yeah, yeah. But I haven't done that at the moment, so. Julie says, morning, Sally Ann. Morning. So I'm just sort of easing it round. Mm -hmm. Which is your traditional way of doing a curved seam, isn't yeah. it, with your pins? So this is the point when your me made fabric, you need to make sure that you've got that starch in it because if you haven't, you could easily pull this curve out of shape. Yeah, definitely. I'm putting the pins right on the very edge and uh -huh. I'm going to sew around with a quarter inch seam. I've got them, pieces obviously right sides together. Uh -huh. And I've got the con... Concave? Is the, the, you can live top. in a concave, you can't live in a convex. So I've got the concave piece on the top. Yeah, she's actually got that little graphic in the book as well. Oh, is it? Yeah. The other half, I'm going to use the glue pen. Uh -huh. um, and I think I'm going to put the glue on this side rather than this side because it's a little bit more stable because it's got so much starch okay. in it. Yeah, you do one of these techniques. You only need to do both of them. This is just Sally Ancha showing you two yeah. different techniques you can do a curved seam on. Is there another glue pen here? Because my glue has gone everywhere. Oh, do you want a new, do you want a new one? Here you go, have Ooh. this one. Thank you. Brand new. So line fabric glue pen five nine ten. You get two glues in it. Once already in it, and the and a refill. Okay. Stuart thanks. says uh, morning, John morning. and Sally Ann. Happy New Year to you all. Raring to go. New Year resolutions on the go. Ooh, I haven't got any. Never be anywhere you don't want to be. <laughs> Bye then. <laughs> right. So what are you doing? Where are you? So gluing? I'm just putting the glue on the right side of the concave piece, uh -huh. sort of in the seam allowance. Right. And then I'm just going to very carefully. Oh, can you just push it forward a little bit for me? Because yeah, we yeah. just get the top of your head at the moment. Well, not there, we get your hands there. But uh, when we go above, we just get the top of your head. Oh, OK. Thank you. There you go, perfect. Right. Right, so I'm going to... Because I'm going right the way back to the beginning of the circle, starting right on the very edge. Uh, Julie yeah. says, if you store your glue pen in the fridge, it lasts longer. There's a little tip. Ooh, thank Try you. not to eat it, though, when you're hungry, Hannah. Morning to you both, says another Julie. Made fabric look look very like the quilting in a Victorian crazy Quilt, quilting quilt, yeah. book. Brilliant show, she says. I think she's talking about you, not me. Ooh. So I'm just sort of playing with this and easing it in. And can you see? Uh -huh. Have you made any New Year's resolutions, sally -Ann? No. Well, no. apart from to lose weight. Oh. You know, everybody, I think that's everybody's, isn't it? You yeah. sort of jump on the scales after Christmas and you think, yeah. mm, how did that ever happen? You'll be fine. Just go jogging every day with your boy. He <laughs> doesn't want them to go running. One of them's sporty, isn't he? Cycling. Oh, cycling. Yeah. You, can you reach the pedals? <laughs> That came out a bit quick then, didn't it? <laughs> I do have an exercise bike, actually. Oh, do you? Yes. Has it got a nice view? I've been, I started doing these, um, it's called Rhythmic Spin. Oh, yeah. Oh, see? I used to, I used to do spin classes in Twickenham, and I loved them, but they, you feel like you're about to die during them, about don't to you? to die. <laughs> right. 
I heard a nice thing on Vanessa Feltz this morning. The lady said she's not made any New Year's resolution. She just wants everybody to sow seeds of hope, which I thought was quite nice. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so I've now got the sewing machine set on a quarter inch um, seam. I've got a stitch length of two. Right. And I'm going to have a go at sewing around the edge. Brilliant. So remember, this is a, um, a half circle. Um, there are other projects in the book where they do a quarter circle. And a quarter circle, which is the drunkard's path, is probably more is something that you see more often yeah, rather than a complete. Rather than a complete, yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, well, I suppose what I'm trying to say, if it all goes wrong, is because I've done a yeah. half circle, it not a quarter. It won't go wrong. I have faith in you, Sally. <laughs> uh, yeah. But it's one of those things. Once you start doing it, you know, once you get going and you've done a few, you get a feel for the arch and how it's going to work. Uh-huh. So it becomes easier and easier. Jan's bought the book. Oh, well done, Jan. She used her Christmas pin badge code for the free P&P. So if you've got a bit of badge. Oh, now, also, also, I have to, well, stop, 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 stop. I'm not, I'm not letting you miss any sewing. A lot of people have messaged in that they didn't receive their code for their free P&P for January. If you bought, remember the 12 days of Christmas, you had to buy six days within that. Several people have said that. Please, go, it will have been emailed to you. So please go and check your junk folder. Please check that. And if it's still not there, ring the call centre and they can sort it out for you. Right. Sorry okay. about that. I just suddenly remembered that to give that important message. That's okay. I've gone and fished in my bag and I'm got a stiletto as well. Oh, I've got a stiletto. Yep. Yeah. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep those edges right you know, together all the way around yeah. so that they're completely on top of each other. I'm just sewing a few stitches at a time. Brilliant. Oh yeah, don't try racing round. No, 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 no. So if I was at home, I might even keep the pins in. But I don't want to. So I'm just sewing very few stitches at a time and keeping those edges together. Okay. If you were at home, which method would you use, the pin or the glue? I always use the pin. Uh -huh. And I, I generally get to a point with the pin method where I just use three. Uh -huh. so, but, but it takes a few goes before you, as I say, get the feel for it. Of course, yeah. And then you think, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I can But don't beat yourself up if you need to use lots and lots of pins because it's no. a thing that you get, you know, she's been doing this for 100 years now. Do you know what I mean? So she gets used to it, don't you, Sally? <laughs> 100 years. I wonder whether you meant me or, or the lady that wrote the book. No, you. <laughs> I'm stopping every time with the needle down and you also a knee lift as I've said many times before is invaluable for this sort of thing this is interesting that the sticky half seems to be sitting better okay So we are done. Right. Okay. Just give this a swift press. Lovely. Now, because it's me made fabric, and she talks about this in the book, it it wants to go this way uh -huh. because it's heavier. So to just let it go the way that it wants to go. I'm just gonna. Wow. The side. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So if I put that with the other pieces. Uh huh. Which here. So here are the. 
does she call these? Just the pillars, I think she calls these. She does use um, some sort of ar archaeology, architectural term. She uses brace and she talks about using a laser to cut a straight line. Oh. It's interesting. Yeah. I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. So she's obviously, I said to my husband, what sort of laser must she be using? And he said something that sort of drops onto the table and allows her Ooh, to. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can he not get you one? <laughs> Bring you one home from work? <laughs> so, yeah. So as you can see, this would be the next yep. ma main pillar, the next cream piece. And that would go in there. Brilliant. Do you want me to say that? Have I got no, enough no, time? No, 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 because okay, we've, got, we've got so many other things and that literally is just saying <laughs> there, isn't it? Before we go on to the next technique, um, I've got a message, have I, Anne? Got quite a few messages, apparently. Very okay. quickly, while Sally Ann gets ready for her next uh, bit of the demo. Oh, OK, hang on. Let's have a look at this. One. Oh, oh, OK, we're not going to put the messages in, but basically a lot of you have messaged in to say that they've been, you've been to the Long River to have a look. And... This book is available on the Long River. It's temporarily out of stock, but look at the price. £28.97. Good grief. Hang on, let me just check. That's exactly the same book, isn't it? It is. Exactly the same book there. £28.97. Temporarily out of stock. How much is ours? £13.99. 13 pounds Gorgeous. Right. So which bit do you want to show now then? Um, the layered conversations. Right, I was okay, also that's this drawn one into. at the back of the book. So this is much, much bigger. Yeah, hang on a sec. I will find. Oh, it's not the back. It's halfway through. Right. So, oh, hang on. That's here you go. That's this one. That's this one we're going to do now. Layered conversations. There you go. Yeah. So this that's quite dramatic, isn't it? That it one? is. Um, but very straightforward when you see how it sort of just builds from the middle. I uh -huh. you can. Uh, there's a good picture. There's some good pictures here. Okay. So if we just go to to Sally Ann's book, brilliant. So can you see that you're just starting with three pieces uh -huh. where they trim either side? Right. And it's that that's going to form your centre. Right. Okay. And then they've added some side pieces. Uh huh which forms that centre cross. And then you start put, putting on borders. So she calls them border A's and border B's. So it's, it's a bit like, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for, where you have a centre and you build up round and round and round, like a medallion. Courthouse steps. No, no, no I mean, as in, as in you make it as big as you want by adding, adding, yes, adding. Yes, a medallion quilt. Medallion, that's it. Yeah, yeah it's, and it is um, a variation of courthouse steps as well. Oh, OK. Because you're, you're set going from the centre and building it. Oh, and yes, I can see borders. it. Now you've said that, I can see that, yeah. yes. So I had a go in the navy and the jelly roll. OK. Fewer than 20 books now. Fewer than 20 books. It's going to sell out. So... You had... Which one did you use? Sorry, what did you use? I used the navy and the jelly roll because... the. This, the this new jelly roll, the, the design roll, right. So the navy fabric here is by the half metre. It's more indigo, isn't it? It's a gorgeous colour. Fabric, this is fabric by the half metre. It's called navy, but it's got that lovely indigo feel to it. £3.49, that's Rose and Hubble. You can buy that by the half metre. If you want 10 metres, it will come in a 10 metre piece. Oh, I've got a fifu on that one. Uh, perfect colour, like other fabrics, beautiful quality from Mrs in Lincolnshire. Right, and then you've t teamed it with, now this is a brand new one, I think, isn't it? This design role to me anyway, or to us. Beautiful tones in here. Very traditional because there's the, there's the, oh, here we go. I've opened it now, too late. Right. So you've got the dark terracotta. You've got the navy. You've got that lovely old fashioned kind of creamy colour. And then the brick in there as well. Called Maria's Sky, 1840 to 1860. Design roll. Pack of 40 pieces. Now if it's Moda, you could call it a jelly roll cut if it's Moda. Have I got that right? Anyway. It's beautiful, isn't it? The colours are very, very traditional in there. Obviously, the two and a half inch strips, 44 inches are long length, and it's called uh, Maria's Sky, 1840 to 1860. Beautiful, isn't it? By Betsy Chuchin. Right, OK, so what did you do? Where do we start? So I used the jelly roll for this, yeah. and I cut all the, all the light coloured strips, so all of this 
these pieces. I mean, uh -huh. They've cut in various greens and pinks and all the rest yeah. of it. I cut as one and a half inch strips from my jelly roll, which left me with one inch strips. Right, okay. okay, so if you use a design roll, you need to cut it down to one and a half inch strips. You do, and you're left with one inch strips. Yeah. Which I would, I mean, I make rope baskets and I would use that as a twist around a rope basket. It would okay. make a great rope, rope basket, but. Brilliant if you do that, yep. but if you don't want to cut your design roll, you've got normal fabric, then why not use either a stripology reel. I'm not going, we're not going to do a demo or anything like that, but you could you could use your fabric. If you're cutting yep. loads and loads and loads of one and a half inch strips, use your stripology. We've only got this one a mini in stock at the moment. The extra large sold out the other day. Okay, or the way I would do it, this is what I would use. Again, I'm not going to do a demo. I'll do a demo later on in this one. I love these. I love that. Yeah. I've got uh, one of those. Literally, you have a ruler and like a guillotine, like an old fashioned school guillotine. You could cut loads and loads and loads of one and a half inch strips from fabric. So, if, so much easier on your hands. Yes, it's yes. Yeah. If you it's don't, yeah, because you're not pressing like you're yeah. on the rotary cutter. If you don't want to, if you don't want to cut up your design roll and you want to cut your one and a half strips from fabric that you've got in your stash. Okay. Okay. Book wise, less than twenty now. Less than twenty books left. So you took your jelly roll and you cut it into one and a half inch strips. Yes, and sort of trying to follow the idea that in the main picture as well, because she, so she's using different colours. So if I was going to carry on doing this, I would build it with a navy background and I would start with all my cream fabrics and then I'd move on to all the red fabrics. Oh, and I see. Then, so, so, so it's ombre so out, out. Sort of exactly. Beautiful. So, uh, are all the strips through the whole quilt one and a half yeah. inches then? Oh, so you can just get all of those yeah, done in yeah, the beginning, can't you? Yeah, exactly. You? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, but you can, You will get to a point that you cannot make a complete round with a, uh, with one strip. Do you understand what yes, I mean? Yeah, it's so you move from one red into another red in the yeah, same round, or yeah. one cream to another cream, yeah. which is what I've done here. Brilliant. So, okay. yeah, I don't know whether it's just... So you can see that I've made the centre here, and yeah. I've started off. I'll just sew a couple of pieces. So, on so here. hang on. So that centerpiece there is was started off with three pieces. Didn't yeah. It? So it started off with three pieces, which were was this piece. Yeah. And this piece and this piece. Right. And then we've put in these pieces, these right. square pieces here. Uh huh. And then we've just followed that with a cream border, which okay. is border one. And in the book, it shows you all the cutting and all the borders. So you've got like a chart. Oh wow. Yeah. So you all the borders. Or the cutting out, so you could definitely sit down and just do that one day, and yes. then the next day it's like do all your sewing. Yeah, you'll be up at four o'clock in the morning <laughs> just <laughs> to get it going. Yeah. So I'm just going to sew up one side, so you can begin to see how the the shape is coming on. Stuart says, I think it's the year to open up all those pre-cuts that have been in the stash for too long, <laughs> waiting for that perfect project. What do you think? Yeah, good idea, Stuart. Get them all open. Oh yeah, Kate agrees with you. Susan says, morning, John and Sally morning. Ann. Love watching Sally Ann demonstrate. She's so calm and clear. Oh, thank you. Oh. Be careful if you've got the book in your basket now. I'm going to get to that limited stage any second. One thing I would definitely say about this is don't be tempted not to cut it. Because I theoretically what you could do is cut these pieces. You can you just, can you see the cream pieces are exactly the same length? Say that again. Sorry, I missed that. Say that again for me. So don't be tempted. So your one and a half inch strips yeah. are always going to fit your blue base right. pieces. Yeah. So the temptation is there, isn't it? Just to take your blue pieces, take your cream piece, uh, sew it down the side, sew the next one, sew the next one, and then go back in and cut them. So yeah, yeah you're going to end up with something very unsquare. It's very tempting. Yeah, I've, yeah, but don't I've do done it, it yeah, before. Sorry, yeah. You know, I've been really, I've done it myself, and, yeah. but it will skew the whole thing, and you want this to sit really well together. Of course you do, yeah. you want that thing there. Yeah. Right, now I've got seven books left, but way more than seven people have got it in their basket. So if you've got it in your basket, you do need to check out now. We'll ask the buying department to get it back in again, but who knows when that could happen. So if you've got this in your basket, there are only seven not checked out now, and way more than seven people got it in their baskets. Well done if you did get it though. Okay. 
and she tells you how to press it as well because you'd consistently in her version she's pressing away from the center i think i'm I think I'm pretty certain that I'm pressing away from the centre as well as uh -huh. you, because you want to nest those seams, because you want very much so these crisp edges. You know, you want your, the seams to nest so you get a nice sharp point here. Yeah, of course, yeah. And th it matches here mm -hmm. and here, so it looks continuous. Oh no! Didn't know this. We don't, we don't stock them, but Elaine has sent in a message. Oh, we go. Hi, John and Sally. Morning. Happy New Year. Moda make honey buns, which are one and a half inch strip rolls, but wow. sadly not for all their designs. Well, I never knew that. There See, learn go. something new every day. Thank you, Elaine in Kent. Okay. Yep. We'll have to ask. We'll have to ask our design team. Were well, they called honey buns? <laughs> Yeah, I'll go through and ask Baldy Paul for a honey bun. That'll go down well. Okay. Oh, does he not know you call him Baldy Oh, Hannah calls him Baldy Paul, sorry. Paul from buying, I call him. I have respect for the buying team, yeah. Okay, it's a little bit... What? But you, but you can see it coming along now. I think it's yeah? brilliant, yeah. And it's a good press, but you can see how things are going to come quite, together. But the thing is, once you, I mean, it's quite simple anyway, but once you get past the very first square, it's even more simple, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and it's very dramatic, isn't it? And you can, mm. making it red, white and blue is very patriotic for this well, year, isn't it? Well, that's the year for the platinum year, yeah. isn't it? Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. okay then we want to move on to another yeah. skill now from the book. You've got about five minutes, so hang on. What okay. else did you want to do? Y seams. Yes. And then there was something else you wanted to say as well, wasn't there? Yeah. Why see there's it? always more that I want yes, to say. Yeah. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. Seriously, there's so much, yeah. you know, with this book. I loved Tessellation. I mean, look at the colour and the vibrancy in that. It's just amazing, isn't it? Yeah. And the little squares, etc. Okay. Uh, I uh, uh, it looks like when you come out, when you fly into London, you fly over Clapham Junction, and you see, or Clapham, and you see all the rows and rows and rows of houses, all the different coloured roofs and things like that. That's what it reminds me of. Right. So I've just got a couple of strips from Tessellation that I made. Uh huh. Which she shows you how to put together. Here you go, Tessie. Thank you. So again, these. Now, which design, which fabric are you using on this one? Is it the same one? So this is the boudoir. And cream. All right, I'm going to have to give these a little press because they're That's all right. mangled up. So you've used the 10 inch charm packs for these, have you? Yes. Yeah. And a ruler with a 45 degree angle line uh -huh. on it. Yeah. So you're going to need one of those to cut the. All the creative grid rulers have them. You're all right there. <laughs> there oh, yeah. you go. Yeah. Got it. So again, plenty of starch I put in these as well. Uh huh. Iron's back in stock, by the way. Got it on tomorrow's show. Okay. okay what are so we joining then? Right. Is it easier on this? Well, yeah, we'll go with this mat. So we're going to join it. We're going to join along here to start off with. Right. Okay. So you're going to make sure that those seams match each other. Uh, we've had lots of messages saying, can you demo, not today obviously, demo a rope, but come and do a rope basket in future, please. <laughs> <mentioned that. laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Because we'll try and get some, hun oh no, they're inch strips you need for rope baskets, not one and a half. We'll just get. I generally do an inch or three quarters of an inch for Okay, no, I'm going to get a honey bun in then for that. Well, no, a honey bun would be really good because it's one and a half, and if you cut it down the middle, you've got three quarters. Oh, yeah. Which is perfect. Well, our brain's working faster than mine today, yeah. isn't it? Lo says, morning, John and Sally Ann. Are you home yet, Lo? She's been travelling all around Scotland Ooh. in a motorhome all Christmas. Yeah, I've seen some New amazing Year. pictures. Those big horses. Yep. Those uh, big horses look amazing. I don't know what they're called. And the sunsets as well, the, yeah. Yeah, over the water. That's and the pollution, yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. Right, so what are you doing? So a Y seam. I'm gonna what you're gonna do with a Y seam is you're gonna sew from the edge right into the corner. Right. But you are not gonna go over that other line of stitching. Right. In fact, you're gonna stop just a little bit short of there. Right. And I'm gonna call that a pivot point. So I'm gonna okay. show to so to there, I'm going to do a little reverse, and then I'm going to do the next part of the Y. Oh, Amanda's going to have a practice with her sweetie quilt today. Oh, good. The Kelpies, those horses are called. Right, so you've stitched down quarter of an inch in. Yeah. I went just a little bit too far oh, there, so I'm going back. Go. So I'm just going to do a little reverse. Right. And then I'm going to go into the next one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's turn this around, take that pin out. So now I'm going to hold it this way and sew into the next one. Can you see? So I'm not mm -hmm. going to cross over previous lines of stitching. So I'm just going to put a pin in. The important thing is that you remember with a Y seam, you're going to sew into the Y and then back out of the Y. Oh, okay. So you're not going to sew both ends into Oh, it. right, I see what you yeah. mean, yes. So I'm going to be very careful not to sew over that previous line of stitching mm -hmm. and give myself a little bit of a pivot point where there's no stitch. Or reverse. And again, you just stop just shy of your line of stitching. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oops. Because your foot's up. Oh, right, okay. There we go. Right, let's take it to here. Move the pin. Then you can see how it's beginning uh -huh. to come together. Okay. So you're doing a square to a diamond and a diamond to a square almost, yeah. don't you? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. the next one you would put in goes in this way. And again, you pin it carefully so that yeah. that seam lands on top of. Can you see? I don't know if you can see right Yeah, 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 yeah. So you want you, uh, to allow a quarter inch seam and you want it to actually meet the other seam at that point a quarter of an inch in. So if you put in a pin, mm -hmm. okay, then you can start sewing from a quarter inch in okay. all the way along. Julie okay. says, how come I'm all fingers and thumbs and clumsy doing what Sally Ann makes <laughs> so neatly? I've done a few. <laughs> yeah, because I told you to be doing it for hundred 100 years. years. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> okay, do you want me to keep going? Yeah, yeah. go on. Let's and then we'll one. stop after that one, and then we'll... Um, there's something else you want to say quickly, is Oh, there? yeah. So let's we'll just do a little bit in. No, everything's... <laughs> the book's sold out. The tools have sold out. There's a bit of freezer paper left, if you want that. I haven't introduced the other two jelly rolls, which I'll do at the end now. Marina's got to go now. She's got some more folds arriving today. Oh, very nice. Okay. There we go. Fantastic. So you can see it beginning to Yeah, no, it's amazing. But you, as it? I say, you get a feel for it as you, as you get going, and yeah. it gets easier and easier and but easier. But it is, it is, it's not for somebody who... Now, don't be negative. Basically, you have got to stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, yeah. stop, start with all of it. There's no quick, easy, quick fix. It is one of those. It'll be so satisfying when it's done. Yeah. But it is for somebody who doesn't mind stopping, starting, stopping, starting, stopping, starting. It's not like get it under the machine and razz along with it. Yeah, I would definitely say with this one, get yourself, if you're going to do tessellation from this book, get yourself fabrics that you love. Yes. Because if you love the fabrics, you will keep going. Oh, yes, of course. You will. And the fact they all go, to, they yeah. look beautiful, beautiful together. together. Yeah. Right. Um, okay, the, what was the other thing you wanted to talk about? The other thing I just wanted to mention yeah. were the um, cushions. Oh, there's that's right. four cushions in here as well, which is, so there's nine quilts and four cushions. Yeah. 
Um, this one in particular called to me because I'm doing something similar with one of my teaching groups. I'm going to do like a lover's knot, but this is called a Roman knot, uh -huh. um, which is a much simpler version. So I really, really love that design. And that design over and over again looks absolutely spectacular. But also look at those cushions. They're not just straightforward square cushions. What's the, what's she I, I, I know we're not going to demo this, but look at the border. The border's lovely on each yep. of those, isn't it? And the quilting is amazing. She's done some really dense quilting and she's put some curves in as well, hasn't yeah. she? So there are the, I talked about quarter curves, like a drunkard's yeah, pack. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is featured in that cushion there. You've got four drunkard's pack, yeah. little blocks, blocks together. And then you've got some really dense quilting, which makes that middle absolutely pop. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you did say in prep that that one over there, the Roman knot, which is like a lover's knot, good for Valentine's Day. It is. Perfect for Valentine's So we're giving Day. the surprise away now. Yeah, so and if you- some hubby's getting a cushion for if Valentine's you have, Day. If you've been lucky enough to get the book, start with the, with the knot, and then you're in for Valentine's Day already. Brilliant. <laughs> Sally Ann, that was fantastic. Thank you. Okay. okay. Sally Ann's back in an hour's time, where if you look on the shelf behind her, she's going to do two projects in an hour. She's going to do the foldy cushion. Oh, look at the face. <laughs> the foldy cushion and the a makeup back, which on our picture had a rotary cutter in it. So oh, we're worried right. about you doing a, your makeup with a rotary cutter. Okay. But there you go. So she's back in an hour to do those. I, the book is sold out, completely literally sold out. So all I can uh, show you now is this beautiful design roll, jelly roll, that we've uh, brought to you for the first time today. It's just stunning. It's got the browns, the bricks, the navy, and the creams, the really lovely old-fashioned creams. There. That's a really lovely traditional bundle, isn't it, that one? It's called Maria's Sky, 1840 to 1860. The Franco-Prussian War was just starting then. Mm -hmm. How do I remember that? I've got no idea. <laughs> And it's designed by a Betsy Chichen. It's well, I wasn't there, Hannah, no. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, Lowe's in Bromsgrove. It's not far from here, is it? 44.99. Moda Maria Sky. That's lovely. That two and a half inch strips already cut for you with the fabric, 43, 44 inches wide. Stunning, gorgeous, traditional, lovely colours, right? Now, I did have two other design rolls here to do for you to see today. I've got, they're all Moda, Boudoir. So you saw the colours of this. I'm not going to open this. This here is all of these gorgeous colours here. But two and a half inch strips. That's grunge, isn't it? That one, Moda grunge in there. Lovely, beautiful colours in there. It's very subtle. They boudoir, like Hannah's boudoir, that is. But she's got like red lace. Um... <laughs> I was going to say underwear, but I didn't mean underwear. Uh, um, accoutrement. Uh, she has got red lace underwear, but I didn't wasn't mean that. <laughs> red lace around the dressing table and things like that. $44.99. Anyway, moving on. So with, that's the, that's the, that's the, oh, sorry. I was showing that. That's the, this is, this is this, what you're getting, right? I was showing the patterns on the 10 inch square, but that's what you're actually getting there. £44.99. I'll do the 10 inch charm pack for you now. Now I've been saying it. Yeah, there you go. By Basic Grey, younger sister of Macy. Ah. $44.99 for 42 10 inch squares. You can do a lot with those. Actually, I love the way that Sally Ann put five different ones together and then cut the pieces and then created new ones. I thought that was fantastic. Okay, now you know I was going to demo the Fiskars Rotary Cutter and Ruler combo in the next hour. There's only one of those left. It's very, and I hate it when you're watching the shopping town, they go, oh, it's very busy today. It's very busy today. It's very busy today. Uh, then I've got another jelly roll here. Toki, Tochi. Toki, I think, I don't know. Anyway, uh, now, I want, I don't, I'm not going to open this because I've not got very many of these, but I love it. These cut, these are like the Japanese, I'm saying Japanese, am I right, Japanese? Where they take, a sh like shiburi, shiburi, where they take fabric and they stitch it and then dye it and then take all the stitch out to dyeing art. These haven't been done like that. These are prints of those, but they're absolutely stunning. Jesse, you haven't got a picture of that unraveled, have you? Oh, never mind, never mind. £44.99. pence. Right, do not go anywhere. After break, it is me on my own, a bit like me on my own, doing quilting tools. 
Sally and Sally will be back in an hour, and then the last hour will be clearance. We will see you in four minutes from now. Do you love sewing? Are you creative, inspiring, and love to share your skills and tips with others? We're excited to announce Sewing Street's Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking, quilting, homewares, and needlecraft. To join the Sewing Street family and share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good, Good luck. luck. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Harrison. I live in Bromyard in Herefordshire with my three children and my dog. Um, I've been sewing for uh, over 30 years. Um, I first started um, at school, um, we always did lots of sewing and my mum used to sew at home as well so that's where my love of sewing has come from. My background is in costume as I'm sure you can see um, and I, I make for film and theatre and TV I've worked on films such as Titanic, Shakespeare in Love, Evita, James Bond, um, and theatre work. I've done things like Mary Poppins, Guys and Dolls, Prince of Egypt. Um, I've also worked for the Royal Opera House and the Royal Ballet. Um, when I worked at Angels, I was lucky enough to meet lots of film stars. They're all uh, walking around the building and in fittings. Um, and some of the people that I bumped into and met were Sir Richard Attenborough, um, Hugh Grant, Imelda Staunton, Juliette Binoche, um, and I even got in the lift with Christopher Lee. Um, and that's where I met the lovely John Scott, which obviously you all know. Um, I'm really pleased to be joining Sewing Street. I can't wait to see you all. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In the
need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hannah loved the chimney sweeps dancing on the roof so much in Mary Poppins when she was little that she asked Father Christmas for a ladder. The worst thing is, she got a ladder. Anyway, look, 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 this hour is fantastic. I've got loads of goodies. I brought back the coordinating bundles from earlier. We've got some, a little bundle, got some uh, quilting stuff, but I want to show you this again. First of all, it's today's early bird. Right, here we go. Jesse wants to do the sting, you see. He likes the sting. It's about time we had a new one, really, isn't it? Right, not 19.99. No, no, no. We crashed it. We crashed it. We crashed it. To 15.99. We'll go back to 19.99 at midnight tonight, which is Monday the 3rd. Bank holiday Monday. Huh? Oh no, bank holiday. So you get all three of these. You get the rotary cutter, you get the ruler, and you get the uh, cutting mat for 15.99. Well done to the hundreds of you that got them already. Then I showed at eight o'clock this morning, but I know a lot of you weren't up at eight o'clock this morning because it's bank holiday. Why would you? Oh, I've just rushed a gluten-free oat and raisin cookie and it's sitting very heavily just here. Just here, Jesse, just here. No, I've drunk loads of my water. I just drank a bit of water. I've nearly finished my water for the day. 15.99. £15.99. Really good rotary cutter with the lockable blade. You get your lovely little ruler. Now, on the picture, this is green. It's, you won't get a green one. You'll get a crafter's dream grey one. Sharon says, good morning, Mr Scott. Sharon, it's ten past ten. We've been here for two hours already. Where have you been? Good time to get up, says Hannah, and buy this. If you're going to back to classes, or if you're going to the caravanette, or you're going got the motorhome, or you've got the lodge, or the holiday home, at £15.99. £15.99. All three. You don't choose which one. You get all three of those. Fantastic, isn't it? Loads of you come in already this morning. We'll go back up to 19.99. 15.99. I drank, dreamt last night, I drank a glass of red wine. It's been three years since I've had any alcohol whatsoever. And when I did, I didn't really drink red wine, but I sat there savouring in this dream. I was going, oh, why haven't I done this for three years? In my dream. Unlike Hannah, who dreamt about the man in the cake shop again. 15.99. Fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Gorgeous. Got to move on. Got to move on. Right. Okay. Right. Where shall I go first then, Hannah? You're in charge. Oh, I know that feeling. John says um, Jackie Lewis gluten-free biscuits could be so dry. But it wasn't. It wasn't even that it was dry. It's just. He it's just really heavy. I shouldn't have eaten it so quickly. I don't think. Right. Go. 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 I've got this, and I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that old shopping telly malarkey. Well, I've got this. I've got this. I have got this. I have got this. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Now this is brilliant. This one. I've got one here. Um, oh, we did have one on the right, on the desk here. Where's it gone? It's brilliant because I don't think I can open the cardboard on this one. Let me look. 
This is one that most... Oh, no, I can't without breaking it. Oh, how many have I got in stock? Oh, no, I'm not going to open it then. I'm not going to open it. 1999. <laughs> There's one here somewhere. I know there is. You know, you have a few days off. I don't know. Everything gets moved. Anyway, what it is, is you can pull the handle in like that. If you're new, this locks the blade when you're not using it. Also, the thing's good about this, very, like, okay, so Sally Ann uh, was just using hers, not this one, and she didn't put the blade away. On this one, the blade goes away straight away on its own. So you don't need to worry about that. You can change it into a left-handed or a right-handed. It's really easy to change the blade. Uh, and it's got soft touch here. It is a fantastic one to have. Really, really good one to have. Uh, Michaela Michaela says, good morning, John. Lovely waking you up to your cheery voice. I'm currently housebound with COVID. Oh, no. Now, now, how did you know you had it then if you've got no symptoms? We have to do lateral, we have to do, don't we, Jesse, a lateral flow test every night before we come in here the next day, right? So we know we're all, so, oh, I see, so you don't have symptoms, but it still shows on the little bit of plastic. Got it now. Got it now. Well, I haven't got it. I haven't got it, and I'm not going to get it. Not going to get it either. 1999, positive thinking, not going to get it. At 1999. Gorgeous. What I must have, I must have your quilting needs. Also, you see, look at the picture on there. Look at the picture, you can put different blades on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Different blades, next. So this is a blade set from So Easy. Oh, now, 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 let me just make sure it fits. I think, no, because <laughs> this is a three-pronged thing and that's only a two-pronged thing. Yeah. So I've got these blades. I it should tell you on the back which ones it fits. Uh, oh, no, it says Fiskars. Oh, from Fiskars. You are fine. My bad. My bad. I just thought because that had a three and that's got a two, it wouldn't work, but it is. Yeah, every time I lean forward, look, I'm sorry about that. So which way would the hat table have to go for me not to lean into it? This way. Oh, I can't be bothered. 9.99. So now you get three blades in there, pinking, skip and wave. <laughs> well, I'm good at skipping. I'm good at waving. I've never tried that one. Anyway, so what it is, it's basically you do three different things. That one there is mainly, the skip one is mainly for paper crafting, but the wave one and the pinking one for cutting the edge of your fabric, so like using pinking shears. Fantastico, 9 pounds ninety-nine. pounds I think I'm getting a bit overexcited here. Well, I'm spitting all over the table. That's not good, no. Don't worry, don't worry, I'm going to do, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it properly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hello, Kate. Right, hi, love, Hannah. <laughs> With her unusual dreams, odd shoes and fabulous hair. She's a fabulous producer. And good at sports. Oh, no, and a good sport, a good sport. Happy New Year. Ah, well, let's just go through that, right? You only hear half of the unusual dreams. I pick the bits that you hear about. You wouldn't be saying the same if you... You wouldn't be saying the same if you uh, knew the whole. Odd shoes, yeah. Fabulous hair. Yes, she has got fabulous hair. Not right today, though. Oh, and then I didn't see the rest of it. Um, she's a good sport. She's a good sport. She's a good sport. She is, and she's a good producer. I have to say that. Oh, not when she messes things up big time, like the iron. And what was the other one just recently? Fat coin. <laughs> right, come on, come on, come on. I'm ready. Done, we're done, Blades. I don't think we'll be able to get to it, because after Jesse... Right, OK, so... 
when we bring a trolley in, right, the directors go mad if we knock any of the cameras. I said, oh, Jesse, I just need that trolley by the side of my desk here. <laughs> the cameras were going, the screens were going. And the thing I'm supposed to be showing you, it's got caught underneath the camera down there. So I won't be able to show you the next thing. Right, where are we going? Best pressed lavender and vanilla. Back in stock. Now this has been out of stock for ages. 11 99 you do get the squirty thing just to take the top off screw the squirty top on um, it's fantastic it's 16.9 ounces it's a bit out of focus there lavender and vanilla flavor uh, brilliant for when you spread like sally ann said she starched all her fabrics early before she did all those uh me made fabrics if you're doing curved uh, seams doing bias seams then this is fantastic. It doesn't make your fabric claggy like an old fashioned starch would. It just like, conditions the fabric almost. Really good if you're working. If you're new to it and you're working on bias seams and things like that. Oh, Michaela, that's sweet of you. Vifu, great light starch, helps with cutting accurately. Great smell, says Anne, thank you. Crafter in Northumbria. Really good fabric pressing product with a relaxing aroma. You don't want to be too relaxed, though, do you? Relaxing aroma. And I need to tell you, this sells out. Uh, love this product. I use it all the time. It lasts for ages. I'm surprised there's no Wendy Orlando. Do you know I haven't seen Wendy Orlando for ages? Have I? Wendy Orlando loves this. She's normally in on a Monday, isn't she? If she's in. Yeah, she knew it was me, so she had the day off, I think. Yeah, she knew it was a bad holiday, see. Loads of fifus. I must in every sewing room. Never run out. Makes sewing so much easier, especially patchwork from Lucy and Dorset. Well, no, and this one runs out all the time. As in, you will buy it so quickly. That's what I mean. Uh, people very, very seldom just buy one. They multi-buy. And they like the, these big bottles as well. In fact, we don't do the little bottles here anymore, do we? At Tank Quarter, we used to do the smaller buttons. No, and, and Hannah's still desperate to get all the different flavours in for you. Good morning, says Carol. You do make me laugh, John. Oh, what have I done now? Anyway, 11 99 Lavender and vanilla. Beautiful. Just let you check out on that. Lots of you coming in for that. Chicka chicka, boom boom. Where are we going next time? Quilting gloves. We are going random all over the place today, aren't we? Ooh. Came back in stock last week. Now there's one pair in there. What size are they? Medium to, or mediana grande. Medium to large. But I have to say they're not huge. They're not huge. 3 99 These are fantastic. So if you're doing quilting, uh, they've got little um, silicon uh, stoppers on the end there. So when you're quilting, it takes a lot of pressure out of your hands. Also keeps your grubby old hands off your quilt. Uh, very good for people like me who have sweaty mitts. 3 99 And also, all of our Cara and um, um, our friend Angie don't, won't do any work without them. They always wear these. And uh, Helen Newton as well. Always, always, always use their um, quilting gloves. Three pounds at 99 pence. You can wash them, do not put them in the tumble dryer. That's all I'm saying. Damn hell. I don't know why this reminds me, but the other day I went to bed, <laughs> left all the lights on downstairs. Got up in the morning, thought, blimey, it's light this morning. All the, all the lights, the lounge lights, the hall light, the kitchen light, all just left on. I know. Anyway, 3 I think I was a bit tired. Mind you, the, when Hannah and I were in last, right, we finished our prep and everything, and I went to say goodbye, and it was the before New Year, and I went, I went into the gallery, and I was like this, night, night. And I was, like, I was like, oh, no, I didn't mean that. And then she sometimes, Hannah's so tired when she gets off the bus when she goes home, she always says thank you to the bus driver. She goes, night, night. <laughs> and she has to shout down the bus because the exit's right down the back, isn't it? 3 Oh, you have, you get off the in you get off on the in bit, do you? No, no. Don't buses have one where you come in where the driver is and want to get off further down? No, that's Chester. 
No. No, London, number 38 bus in London was just like a backloader. It was just an open bit at the back with the steps going straight up. I used to love my, th I love my 38 bus when I used to go to work, 20th century costumes in the morning. Yeah, and get to Islington. 399. 399. You wish. Gorgeous, moving on. Next. Who oh, what what? Happy New Year, John. Just want to check you know the new series Father Brown starts saying. I'm not into Father Brown. It was Mrs. Brown's boys that I liked, but they were rubbish. I refer to Father Brown because it must come on just before Escape to the Country. <laughs> because I always see the, see the denouement, as they call it. The denouement at the end, outside the church, when he's going, it was Mrs. Brown with the candlestick or whatever. Because um, I've never watched the whole episode. Oh, no, I know it because it's filmed like about nine, nine minutes from me because Dulcie said they were looking for a costume supervisor. And I was like, oh, I quite fancy that. I quite fancy that job. I didn't do it, obviously. But um, they didn't ask me or anything like that. <laughs> but, but it looks nice because I like, it's like doing Poirot. 19, it's 1940s, isn't it? Late 30s, early 40s. Um, so I will see the end of it. It's got what's name in it. It used to be in, um, yeah, casualty, casualty. Right. Fat quarter friendly quilts. Books here. The books are all over here. There's one book on the table, but that's a special. Fat Quarter Friendly Quilts by Annie's Quilting. Annie's Quilting books are always really popular. Because look at the price, eight ninety nine. Look how many projects. Twelve. I love that one. There's less what? Fewer than 20 of these. Few I love that one there. I really should start making quilts, shouldn't I? I've got so much time. Not... I've still got Alex's alterations to do from Christmas. Only just got the quick and pick out. I haven't even started doing them yet. Feathered Star. That's nice. Oh, is it all stars, this one? Oh, no, fat quarter friendly. I'm thinking you need... Oh, no, no, they look like... Um, no, I think you need some fabric as well, don't you? Oh, yeah, the dark blue. Yeah. So the fat quarter friendly, but you do need other fabrics as well. Amethyst Garden. Oh, that's nice. I fell in love with the fabrics in this collection. Designed this wall hanging to showcase the prints. Denise Russell. We haven't got those fabrics, Denise, but... Gorgeous. Templates there and everything. Swirls of colour. Table runner. Mm -hmm. Mother's Fancy Star. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the one I love. That's a block there, you see. The blocks are, you make 30 of those. 40, oh, that'd be a big quilt. You make 30 of them. They're 14 by 14 inches, 70 by 84. Oh, I love that. I think it's the colourways on it I love. Pansy Paradise. <laughs> it's a table runner. No, thanks. Not doing that. Cross Keys, I wonder how he is. Nine Patch. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look, it's got the Irish chain, that's called, isn't it, through that one? Spring dance. Colours of spring are highlightedly simple. The thing is, they've called it spring dance because of the colours, but you could make that autumnal dance if you wanted to. Winter dance, summer dance, spring dance. Oh, that's nice. They call it polka dots on parade because they've used all spotty fabrics. But again, you could use solid colours in there. Easy to piece quilt. I like the fact they've done bits around the edge that haven't got the pinwheel on as well. Roman candle. Spring in Studley. No, not Studley. Sudley. Well, I drive through Studley in the morning to get here, you see. Be spring soon. Days ago. Now, when I was in London, right, it was light by half past seven in the morning, right? It's not light at half past seven here in the morning. It's because the world's round, Hannah says. Okay. 48 carats. Don't start, Jesse. Hidden stars. Beautiful, aren't they? Look, half square triangles. Only 13 of these books left now. Uh, 
I can't. That that. <laughs> I was having back problems with that back page. Yes. Where are we going next? I've got loads of Annie's quilting. <laughs> We've got five Annie's quiltings. New craft. No, these are brilliant. These are brilliant for new craft because these are fantastic. If you're just starting in the quilting world, these are fantastic. Two and a half inch strip ones, show you. Right, these are a pound a pattern. Look, nine, not brilliant value. And the instructions in here are amazing. If you're new to it, hang on. Yeah, and you've also got your, oh, I love that one. You've got your stash of fabrics. That fabrics you bought in clearance. Oh, actually, I've got to clearance hour later. I don't know if we've got any fabrics in it, though. Have I? I've got some two and a half inch, um, Oh, look, spot on, spot on, spot on. I don't know why I ever say that whenever we do it. Spot on, who says that? What a cornucopia, a florabunda your shirt is this morning. So uplifting. Thank you, uh, Julie. Thank you very much. All the words, reflections of fall. Oh, we don't want that yet. Winter. <gasps> Where's the one I love there? Oh, that's unusual, isn't it? Star bright. Ah, right. What's the matter? Jardin Bleu? Oh, Jesse. Again. Do, do you know the one Elliot was going to sort out? It's still not there. No. Stripping hexes. This is lovely. I love that one. It's a nice bedroom, that. Nice, very nice guest bedroom, that. I'm thinking. Oh, look, that's how you make it. Beautiful, aren't they? Then you've got Galaxy. i do that in blue, that, that one. Yeah, dark navy. So, look, so much in there for £8.99. New year, new craft. New year, new hobby. New craft, no, new year, new start. New job. Eight ninety nine. Also, is it true? I saw somewhere on Facebook that, like, because because I know this is really difficult to believe, but I did. I'm over sixty now, right? I know, I know. But I get my prescriptions for free, and then someone's put on Facebook. We don't get them for free anymore until you get your pension. I don't get my pension till I'm sixty eight. Uh, no, I don't need a bus pass because we only have four. We only have four buses a, a week a month. Four buses a week in our village, so it's not really don't, don't do me much good. Which one? Flowers. Yeah, now I I launched this one. This is a gorgeous book. This one, again. Nine nine colourful designs. I've got some lovely fabric to go with this. Nine colourful designs for eight ninety nine. Again, it's a pound a pattern. Isn't that lovely? Some beauties in here. In fact, I think this one has, oh no. So this is Magnolia Lane, like Wisteria. They're what? I think they're tulips, but they're fresh magnolias. You've got your templates there. Pieced flower quilts, this is, aren't they lovely? Then you've got Sunflower Meadow. Hi, John and team. Sorry I'm late. I'll catch up later. Oh, don't worry, Georgina. It's a bank holiday. You can stay in bed as long as you like. Then what's here? Let's have a look what else is that. We're still on sunflowers there, look. Then we get to Framed Flowers. It's nice, isn't it? Thank you for that, Jesse. Saying it's like my shirt, he said. There we go, they're tulips. Dutch golden age they are. Beautiful. Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote, Earth laughs in flowers. These cheerful flowers will brighten up your world. Ah, So there are your tulips. Then we've got summertime serenade. It's unusual that pale green background, isn't it? Then... Mm. 
More tulips in there, spring tulips. Oh, NHS website says still says it's over 63 prescription. Oh, well, it must maybe it's just in different areas then. Somebody was definitely saying that they were to pay now for, from, from the 1st of January. Matilda's flower room. I've actually gone, got to go and collect one this week, so I'll soon see to try and charge me. Oh, there they all are. There, I knew there was that they were all they were all somewhere. Cheeky, I wasn't in bed. I've been out doing a good turn for a friend, says Georgina. Yeah, yeah, on a bank holiday. I'm only joking. Oh, Google says it's all right. So somebody got it wrong, did they? Oh, well, I'll find out. I'll ask at the doctors this week. Now, complimentary bundle. It was. It will say. No, it says compliment. It says complimentary. It says complimentary. So you get your um, melange in aqua. You get melange in green. These would be lovely for the flowers, wouldn't they? And then you get the plain chartreuse, the plain dark teal, the melange in. It's what? Oh, sorry. Chartreuse was under the graphics, apparently. <coughs> Load those in baskets. You get three metres of fabric. Three. Three left. And if you're looking on the website, there are now, now a photo. Happy New Year, John. You're great. It's like watching a comedy sewing show. Keep making us laugh and so from Sue in Portsmouth. C comedy? Comedy? More like a blooming tragedy, yeah. Oh, no, that's my life, not the show. I'm only joking. I know, poor old Jesse. The birds are hungry at the moment, aren't they? They're wolfing their way down the bird food. Don't know what led me to that, then. Yeah, they're very hungry. Be careful on that because people are going to miss out if you're not careful. Blue bundle's about to sell out, so I'll show you that one next. So that's uh, your solid, blue. I think that one's called sapphire. Marine, maybe. Dark teal in your planes. And then these are your melanges. Oh, I got it completely wrong. Peacock, open, dark teal. <laughs> Aquarine and dark blue. Melange. Melange. Melange always makes me think of food. I'm thinking of a blancmange, I know. 22.45, this is. About to sell out, that one. Go on. Make sure you check out if you've got any basket. Then I've got the really lovely bright greens. So again, you have melange twice. There's your two melanges. Lime or citrus. Privet. Just green. Just green. Then uh, you get, and then you get your three solids. Chartreuse, fur and lime. It's very tasty, that one. Oh, here goes Sue. Definitely free prescription over 60. Only 18 days to wait for me. So don't change the rules before then. Oh, okay. Where did I get that from then? Sorry, I did, I'm only, you shouldn't believe really everything you read on Facebook, should you? 22, especially about Hannah's life. 22, 45, anyone thinks she was happy, wouldn't you? You don't do Facebook that much, do you? are more of an Instagram girl, really, aren't you? McBabe H You watch what? Oh, Nine Days Out on the... I only watched one series of that and I loved it. 90 Day Fiancé. Oh, I'll have to try and find it on the telly then. Because then what happened was, I've tried to watch the series that I watched. I tried to watch... And they just had the odd episode from different shows. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to look it up when I get in tonight. Fresh greens. Gorgeous. Right. Right, last bundle. Last bundle are the party pinks. So you get pink 
in plane, you get pink in plane, you get purple in plane, and then you get purple in melange and lavender in melange. I'll tell you the right names now. Bright pink, magenta and pomegranate in the plains. Dark lavender and light purple. I don't know which one would be which. They're beautiful though. I've not seen the melange for a while. <laughs> Oh, they are going to bring them in, says Mrs. in Suffolk. Maybe, I, I was, uh, maybe I've read a thing in the future. Yeah, time travelled, maybe. I'll find out. I'll ask at the doctors. I'll ask at the doctors this week. Right, where are we going next? What time is it? Oh, yeah. No, right. Oh, yes, I have. Um, uh, look, when we did this the other day, Jesse kept taking the picture of it upside down, so I'm going to show it the right way up. There you go. It was Jesse. It was Jesse. You don't just get this panel, you get all three of these, look, and they are gorgeous panels. They got 15% off, right? 15% off. Let me show you the big panel first of all. I'm surprised we had any of these left. Look. They're absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. This is the big panel. Look, this is the big panel. Hummingbird and Flower Shop is the bundle. That's how, this is Hummingbird. You've got nasturtiums in there and foxgloves and hibiscuses, rose hips. Or are they orchids? Orchids, orchids, orchids. So you get, you get that one. This is for the whole bundle, right? You get all three of these for... So they work out at £11, it, or less than £11 each, don't they? Then there's this one here with your squares. There you go. Beautiful, aren't they? Look at those. I love the colours in here. This is what we want for the new year, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful colours. Oh, there you go. Still get prescriptions for over 60, but there are plans to align it with the retirement age. Okay, thank you. I thought you'd sneak through quietly without me noticing. And then this one, which is nothing to do with this range here, but it's another floral bundle, another uh, floral panel. Look at them. They're gorgeous. Lovely. Uh, they're all, uh, this is my, my favourite one, this one here. This is Hannah's favourite one here. Jesse doesn't have a favourite. Jesse said he'd like them with pints of beer on them. Oh, he's doing dry January. Day three, Je Jesse, day three. So many friends of mine put um, uh, pictures on Facebook going, dry January is going ever so well, it's them in a pub with a pint of beer or cider or something. Three years I haven't had to drink for now, Jesse. Three years, it's incredible really, isn't it? You've only been here one day. Hannah's giving up Greg's for New Year. Sorry, Greg's, but your takings will absolutely plummet. No, because cats will still be going, won't you? And cat buys more in Greg's than you do. <laughs> cat and Elliot will keep them. What this one supported. Anyway, you got all three of those panels. Thirty-two pounds and twenty-seven pence. There they are. Stunning, absolutely beautiful. Don't miss out on those. Lovely. Next. Special. It is a book and some threads. Quilting threads. The cotton, these are. These are cotton threads and the book here. So if you buy them together, they cost you £31.99. The Carolyn Forster, this is for doing hand, this is the hand quilting book that we did the other day. You can piece it using normal, using normal, you know, normal patchwork machining and then quilt it by hand using, now are they thicker then, yeah? Hand thread for quilting. 
That's the wrong way around. It should be thread for hand quilting, not hand thread for quilting, isn't it? Oh, what did you just do? 27, 28, 29, 30, 30. She's taking four pounds off. For no reason. Bank holiday. It's because the book is beautiful. And the templates come in the book. Look. I can't, Hannah's got a favourite bit in this book of the techniques. Now, the techniques are here. Look. So you've got the quilts, the gifts that you can make, and all the different techniques in here. Look. That's the introduction. What is... Big stitch quilting. Hannah will explain it to you if you want to email her. Tools and materials. She, she's a bit busy. Stitching the patchwork. Then you've got tacking and basting. Putting the layers together. Tabletop quilting and then quilt designs. Look. You've got your clamshells, your um, random clamshells there. How to mark it all up. Then these are your hand quilting stitches, look. You got your Mennonites, your big stitch. There wasn't a cross stitch in it. There you go, running cross stitch. And then how to bind it. And then all your projects. I love the photos in here. Look. That's like your old Nan's quilt, isn't it? I th you see this one here? I presume that was Hex's EPP together. Oi. I presume they were EPP together, but they're not, no. Look, that's how they do it. Thank you. Look at that. That's, I love the way they've used... What? Never presume, no? Swedish bars. Hannah knows a lot about those. Have you not been to Sweden? All the countries you've been to. I've oh, been to Denmark. Stepping stones. She's never done those. Hi, John. Which book had that lovely octagon quilt? Hang on. Hi, John. Which book had that lovely octagon quilt? This one, you mean? Laurie? Article decided... Yeah, look. That one. Do you mean that one, Laurie? It's in here. Loved, isn't it? Now, this was so popular when we launched it the other day. I don't know why she's actually done that, but she said what she hates is she hates to buy a book and then when she gets it home, realise she hasn't got the right thread to go with. She's still doing her tumbling blocks. That's her lifelong quilt. Look, I love that one. Oh, yes. Yes, you have. Beautiful. Lucy said she'd help, didn't she? $27.99. 27 oh, hang on. The big octagon that looked like the rainbow's colours. Oh, I don't know what that was, Laurie. I can't remember now. When did we do that? Julia, morning, John. Still testing positive and getting bored. Thank goodness you're there to cheer me up. I've changed one of the words in that sentence. <laughs> um, the big octagon that looked like rainbow's colours. Oh, Laurie, I can't remember. They all blur into one after a while, all the days. Did we have it here on the wall or was it just in a book? Hannah's usually good at remembering things like that. She's got no idea either. This should be thirty-one ninety-nine, by the way, this bundle. Fewer than 20 of those now. Fewer than 20. We won't be allowed to make the bundle again. Okay, moving on. Leaving you to check out on that. Patchwork pins, the fork ones. Yeah, I have to show you these. These were really, these are really, really sharp. These you must be careful when you get these. Right, they come in the little box. But I'll try not to get my head in shot. Now look at them. Oops. See these? These are excellent for quilting because you don't need to lift the quilt up when you pin it. And if you're matching a seam. You put it through um, 
I don't think I've got a block under here. Oh, who's been doing this? If you're trying to match a seam, I'm not trying to match these seams, but you could literally put the pins in exactly where you want it to match up on the other side as well. Maybe someone's had the chenilling um, thing, haven't they? Anyway, they're really, really sharp. Please be careful when you get those home. Fork pins, they're called. I have other patchwork pins. I've got quilting pins and I've got patchwork pins. Patchwork first. These are Epingles Poor Patchwork. Patchwork, these are very, very fine, these are. The focus isn't working on the camera. Hang on. $8.99. Oh, it was one of Annie's books, was it? Oh. Oh, today. Today. Annie's books today. Hang on. You can look at those pins while I just look at this then. Oh, this one. Do you mean this one, Laurie? Hang on. Just take those graphics out a second, Hannah. Do you mean this one? I'll just let Jessie show you. Time-saving quilts with two and a half inch strips. That one, Laurie. There. Is that the one you mean? Sorry. I think I might be being a bit slow today. Beautiful, isn't it? And look how you make them as well. You, you, you do these, right? But you don't have to do lots and lots of little ones. You just sew strips of fabric together and then cut them up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, like that. Brilliant. I hope that's what you meant, Laurie. And, and then I've got quilted pins. These are the ones with the orange heads and the green heads. Yes, she said, yes. These aren't quite as fine as the previous ones. They're nice long pins, these. It pingles, poor quilting. It pingles. It pingles. 9 .99. Not Pringles, Jesse. Eppingles. Or Agua Pinzadoras. Or Quilting Adelines. Moving on. Where would you like to go next? Fast and fun quilts for kids. I've not seen this one before. You don't get the children to make them, do you? Oh, you make them for children. Nice with the puzzle pieces, aren't they? We did one like that. We've. Uh, oh no, I'm thinking back to same quarter. Moving on. Waves of colour. Look at that teddy bear. Pardon? That looks like a nice simple one to do, doesn't it? Sweetie and me, throw quilt and doll quilt. See, you have one and your dolly has one, the same to match. There you go. This is the one that Hannah likes. I was inspired by the puzzles I've enjoyed putting together ever since I was a young child, says Wendy Shepherd. Hannah thinks you could make a memory quilt out of this. And now she's singing memory. I say singing, yeah. Turtle trot. You just do turtles all over. You wouldn't do any of this bit. I think they're um, applique, the turtles. There's all your templates. Oh, pick up sticks. Hedgehog. Why do they look like mushrooms on? Oh, the fabric's mushrooms. <laughs> I thought you were creating mushrooms. Sorry, my bad. Entwined. Lovely, that one, isn't it? Doesn't have to be for a child, that one, does it? Look. Star Baby. Star baby. Oh, no, it's Star Man, isn't it? 
Hopscotch. Oh, I wouldn't give a baby those pom-poms. I'm having problems with pages to say, aren't I? <sighs> Love to the moon and back. Ah. Lovely, isn't it? With all the templates and everything, £8.99. Very popular, that one. Oh, as they said on Wicked. Yeah, what was it? X-Ride quilt backings. Blue first. There's Lynette Anderson. Now, they're 108 inches wide. Look at the price. Okay, these should not be eight ninety nine. You know that. I know that. Right. Okay. So hang on. Lynette Anderson by the half meter is eight fifty now, forty four inches wide. So how come one hundred and eight inches wide is only eight ninety nine? I don't know. I don't understand. But take advantage while you can. Do you know what? It's a designer one. Most of our our, our things are now uh, twelve ninety nine, thirteen ninety nine, aren't they? Yeah, but this, 108 inches wide. I'll let you see the pattern now. Let me put it down. 15 metres left, that's it. Yeah, we launched this on Christmas Day. We know not everyone can watch on Christmas Day. Okay, so on Christmas Day, how many have I got today, say? Okay. I have got less than half of what actually sold on Christmas Day. Do you know what I mean? What I'm trying to say is, please be careful because it's not Christmas Day. It's a bank holiday, but it's not Christmas Day. Right, 14 metres left. No, 13 metres left. 13 metres left. It's only been on, it's only been on Christmas Day and today, I think, isn't it? Yeah, Christmas Day and today. And if, it's not, if you're not careful, it could sell out. Doesn't make any sense at all. It's, she has all her fabrics printed and she's Japanese cotton. They're really, really, really top quality cottons. At 8 99 for half a metre. Remember, it's 108 inches wide. Moonflower blue. Even if you're not buying it for a, a quilt backing, <coughs> you can make it's it's quilting weight and it's dressmaking weight and it's drape weight. You know what I mean, Harry? Okay, there's going to be too many of you want that. Please check out your baskets. Now, she calls it cream. We've got it in this kind of soft beige colour. Again, 108 inches wide, X-ray backing. You see, I quite like, I like this one. Eight ninety-nine. Eight ninety-nine. Look at the little ladybirds on there and the bumbly bees. She's from up north. She lives in Australia. She's got pink hair. Oh, what was that funny noise? But something went blinging in it. Oh, it's the iPad on the floor. Oh, I haven't trodden on it. It went ba diddling ding ding. Ba diddling ding. Keep going through for that. Loads of you got that in your baskets. So well, I'm not surprised at 8 99 for half a metre. Excuse moi. See vous play. Mademoiselle. Too many people. Too many people. I've got what? Uh, yeah. This is 80 20. It's called cotton batting, but it's 80% cotton, 20% uh, polyester. 120 by 120, king size. We see only 80 20 wadding. We have well, all the others sold out. And the half by the half meter sold out. <clears throat> At this moment, this is only the, uh, the only 80 20. Which is, I know it says cotton, but it is 80% cotton, 20% polyester. 
37.99 king size there are wool ones Ooh. there are wool ones on the website there'll be polyester ones on the website i imagine but this is the only one we've got that's 80 percent cotton 20 percent polyester this is the one most of our designers prefer 37 pounds and 99 pence beautiful i have got my cross stitch tool here if you are making your quilt sandwich and you don't want to pin it then maybe you could use this micro stitch tool the best way to do it though is to have you know those um grills that you not grills um they're like wire trays that you cool your cake on when you made the cake you get it out of the oven it's best to have your quilt on top on those and you can literally just and you take off the rubber thing there you put these little kimball tags in and you literally almost staple the three layers together but the good thing about it is is you can sew over the little staples um or and not worry about uh, catching needle on them and then afterwards don't pull them out cut them out Get your scissors and just snip them out. Don't try pulling them out because you can um, really affect your um, stitching. It is the crafter's choice as seen on TV. 24 99 Now, you do get this many natural and black Kimballs in, but we do sell on the website the um, refills. June Taylor basting spray. This is like 505 spray, but it's a June Taylor version. Uh, very, very popular. And it's quite, not difficult for us to get in, but when it sells out, we, it takes a while to get this back. This is lovely. Now, Jill Rep, she adores this. The um, you bat, uh, baste quilt layers together instantly. It is repositional. Repositional? It doesn't sound right. Repositioning, repositional. Uh, it's acid free. Eliminates pinning. We suggest you spray the wadding and not your fabric. Cotton and polyester batting. And it's brilliant. It's very, um, I don't want to say very sticky, but it sticks them together well. That's what I want to say. Look at the time already. It's time for Sally Ann already. Is there anything else you want to show, hand before we go? Oh. Okay, um, where did I put it? Here it is. Oh no, that's not it. Where did I put it, Hannah? Did I leave it on the table? Oh no, here it is. Hannah's special deal for the day. 31.99 should be, she's dropped it. Now that price will go back up at midnight tonight. You get both of those. Should be $31.99. You get the book and you get the threads for £27.99. The book, the book is all about put different patterns, but then how you can hand quilt them. And then the thread is obviously for hand quilting. So it means when you get the book home, you can actually practice and do some. It's very popular. Fair, was very popular without the money off, but it's even more popular with the money off. Get your templates and everything there. Okay, so don't go anywhere. Sally Ann is up after the break. She's doing two projects in the house, so we're gonna, I'm going to have to not talk to her. We're doing the cushion, second, and we're doing the makeup bag, first. But that's as used as a, a, a toolbox. I will see you back here with Sally Ann in four minutes from now. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. 
For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harborough. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. But I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try, there's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes. It's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. How gorgeous is this? <coughs> Excuse me, it's selling already, just so you know. Sally Ann's back, she's going to be doing two projects. She's going to be doing this and she's going to be doing this. We're going to do the cushion first and then we're going to do the makeup slash tool bag, tool bag. Um, and makeup bag. Right, uh, all you need for this is you need the bundle, right? Very good price and lovely. It's so popular, this cushion. Right, so what you get is you get the instructions, Sally Ann's instructions. You get a metre of calico and then you get this adorable panel, totally and utterly exclusive to us. Look at this, right? Look, 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 look. Get it the right way up now. So look, this is such good. Look, nineteen nine. They pay nineteen ninety nine just for this, for this. Forget the pat. Right, okay. Let's just work this out. Right, the pattern will be nine ninety nine. I'm presuming, won't it? A meter of calico is what six pounds, five pounds. Uh, you're getting an awful lot of value in this in this bundle. So you get the big piece of floral. You get all these lovely little strips of the rainbow colours there. And then these are just coordinating fabrics. They don't appear anywhere, they're just for you to have. So you get that, you meet you your fabric, and Sally Ann's instructions. Now remember, every time you buy a Sally Ann instructions, whether it's from us or from her direct, there's a, an email address on here. You can email her and say, I've just bought this pattern, and she'll join you to, to her friendship group, whatever. <laughs> what is it? Yes. It's only for members only. It's not public. Okay. Oh, 
Hang on, your microphone's not switched on, apparently. I'll carry on talking, and then it's a private Facebook group that nobody can come into unless you're invited to by Sally Ann. So basically, it's a private, private group you can, do, uh, you can join. Anyway, this is very, very popular. 1999. What I'm going to do, I'd normally just go straight on with the demo, but I'm also going to show you the bundles that we've got for the makeup. Oh, no, hang on, I've got the instructions on its own. Yeah. You won't go on some Starville fix to put it on the inside of this, but we'll talk about that more in a second. But look, pattern on its own. Liberty, it's called the Liberty Rainbow Pleat because the original, right at the very beginning, was made with Liberty fabric. And then we've created the panel for you to make it. Um, imagine if you had to buy all those Liberty uh, fabrics for that. Anyway, the pattern itself is £9.99. So you could do it with your own fabrics. You could use a, a cotton that you have you know, like any of your standard cottons, and then just use bits of your stash for the little um, pleats. So that's that one. That's that one. Right, then the second half of the show is going to be this, which is a little makeup bag, or in, as the picture we've got, it's got a rotary cutter and some scissors in it. Now that see-through look, that's beautiful, isn't it? Look. Right, okay, so I've got that bundle there. What you get is you get the instructions, let me put it in shop. You get the instructions, you get your zip, you get your um, PVC, and you get a fat quarter of your PVC and a fat quarter of your orange, and then half a metre of your blush. Again, that's really good value, isn't it? 19.99, And with that, you can make that. And new skill, new skill, new year, new skill, new year, new hobby, new year, new you. I never know which one it is, Sally, so I just say them all. <laughs> right, so that's that one. That's that one there. This one here. This one here. The fabric is called Sally Ann. This is the Lib from the brand new Liberty collection, right? And Sally Ann was, uh, they asked a few designers to name the fabric. So this, it comes in three colours from Liberty. I think we're sold out of it now. Comes in three different colours. That's actually called Sally Ann. So you get a, a fat quarter of that. You get a fat quarter of your PVC, you get the instructions, you get the um, cream a zip, and you get half a metre of your slate, right? So you can, it won't be that colourway, it's the same thing. So imagine how lovely that's going to look, those two colours together. £19.99, you get all of that for £19.99. Do I need anything else? I don't think I do, do I? I don't need any, um, there's no wadding or anything. Oh, it's a tiny bit of wadding in there. Is that? Oh, cool. Yeah, it's yeah. quilted, yeah. 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 How come what? Did you say, ha Han? I just explained that. Okay. That's all right. Oh, okay, then. We've got an issue with the microphone, so I'll just carry on talking. This one here, you get misty blue, half a metre. Hang on, we'll just show you that. Sorry. Misty blue for half a metre. You get your instructions. You get your fat quarter of your PVC, you get your cream zip, and then you get, this is lovely, isn't it? This is the new Liberty as well, isn't it, if I'm not mistaken? Yep. That one's not called Sally Ann, obviously. But you get a fat quarter of that as well. So that's, again, is a completely different colour, is colourway, isn't it? £19.99. This is Misty Blue. You're most probably shouting at the telly going, John, that's green. That's what they call it. We don't call it that. That's what it's called by the manufacturers. That's misty blue, but it's definitely like a pale sage green. The cushion is going crazy. I'll recap the cushion in a second because we're going to do that first. We are going to demo that first. Now, I've got this instruction on its own. The little pink bag instructions on its own. Oh, yeah, there's a bit of rick rack on top and there are seed pearls on it as well, but that's up to you. They're not seed pearls, are they? They're like little half pearls, aren't they? Yeah, you don't need them. They're not necessary, but we, it's just that uh, we haven't put that in. You can decorate it as you want to. Instructions on their own, 9 99 If you would like the calico on its own. Oh, no, hang on. I'll do, no, I'll do the PVC first. If you want the PVC first on its own. Oh, clunk, clunk. Glass, clear, supple PVC, two ninety nine for half a metre. Again, it's coming off the roll. 
Now I've got calico on its own as well, but that's more that's for the cushion, not for the bag. So if you want some, if you want, if you've got your own fabric that you want to make, the, you might have some Liberty Chuck five inch. You, you don't need a five. You know the Alice Caroline ones. We we sell Alice Caroline five oh. inch Liberty yeah. ones. You could use those if you wanted to. Again, that's your calico. They're two forty nine half a meter. Yeah, if you're going to make the cushion again, I'm thinking yeah. See, you can hear it, can't you? What is it? It's definitely something going. <laughs> it's like going through the chair. Sally Ann heard it as well that time. Not just me. Now, I need to just warn you, this is absolutely flying out the door. This bundle, you get the panel, you get the instructions, and you get a metre of calico. A metre of calico. Half the stock has gone almost. Half the stock has gone of this bundle. I'm, uh, the thing is, I am a bit stunned by the price. Because that's nine ninety nine. That's £5. So that's uh, £15 straight away. That means you're getting this panel for four ninety nine. That's a fourteen ninety nine panel, if it's anything, is it, really? So you're getting a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic... And you can't get that panel anywhere else. It's exclusive to Sane Street. Somewhere away. <laughs> anyway, nineteen ninety nine. That won't make your ears bleed anymore. Okay. So, right, come on, let's go. You're all right. You're all, all mic'd okay. up now. Well, I think. I think so. Can you hear me? Can you hear her? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Fantastic. So, you've got to do, now I've done all that time, but you've got to do two um, things in one go, so I won't say very much. <laughs> go. No pressure. No pressure. Go, 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 go. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do a demo on the Liberty Rainbow Pleat cushion. I am just going to pull out the pleating aspect of it, so I'm Hang just on, going just to do that, yeah. a row. Righty ho. Okay. Yeah. So going back to the panel, mm -hmm. the panel, I mean, I, re I really loved working with the panel. The panel is really good quality. It's not, you know, I've had cheap panels before and they're rubbish, but yeah. this is really great. Yeah. And also there's a bonus from, so this is what I used for the, um, what do you call it? The pipe. Binding. Piped. Piping. Piping, not just binding. Oh, sorry, piping. <laughs> the piping around the edge. Yeah. Okay. So you need to cut that on the bias, which is why it's such a nice big uh -huh. piece. Um, and then... If you look at the panel, the way that it's set out, I think I've, yeah, because I've cut some off. Um, you've got strips, yeah, right, yeah. So if you cut strips in your calico, then you can make what four little pleats at the same time. So if you cut it that oh, way, yeah, I see, yes, so yes, it yes, saves yes. you cutting. Don't individually cut each one. Cut them one. all out. Cut them out in strips. Cut them out in strips. Brilliant. So and can, then that fabric at the end is just extra fabric, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, just extra not, fabric. That's not for the project no, at all. No, just bonus. I suppose you could applique something on the back, like if you give it as a gift, like a heart in one of the fabrics. You on the could back do, or something. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. Right, so. Okay, so moving on from that, that yeah. is why I have my strip right. of little rainbow colours uh -huh. and my strip of calico. So I'm going to sew those two together. It tells you in the pattern what size to cut. So right. you're just going to. I'm going to use a quarter inch seam, right sides together, and just sew all the way down. Now, I wouldn't usually sew this with a walking foot, but I've put this on so that I can use it later on. Okay, perfect. So, so, I'm thinking this is going to be okay. And Anne says, you've got the church door stuff on the shelf. Are you bringing it back? As I want to make it, and it's never been stopped. I know they're bringing them back gradually, and we've got a brand new one uh, tomorrow. Um, I don't know about the church. I'll have to ask for you, I'm afraid. At the moment, we haven't got it coming in, but we'll ask. Okay, okay so you've, you've shown that down one side. Yep, just one side. So now I'm going to... Do a little bit of a strange step and I'm going to press it open right and then I'm going to press it the other way or you'll, you'll see as I go come on I've... oh there you go you're going to press it open yeah okay I'm going to press the seam open you get yeah. a better finish that way you get a oh, okay. crisper edge so I'm just going to press that all the way along Right. Okay, and now I'm going to press it closed. So I'm going to press it so the seam's on the inside. Yeah. Uh, hang on, just say that again, Hannah. 
Got 10% left. I've got 10% left now. That's all already of this bundle. They'll all go. They're going to sell out today. We had lots as well. We had lots of these. Sally Ann knows because she had to bring all her patterns with her this morning. <laughs> I did. <laughs> it has been really, really popular, this. Mm. Okay, so you fold it, you've pressed it open. Open, and now... But then now you press it in yeah. half. And that just gives you a better edge, doesn't yes, it? Yes, that just gives you a nice, clean edge. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm just going to cut them apart. So I'm just going to cut them apart like this. Okay, yeah. just along the line where, they, where yep. the cream joins the colour, yeah? Yeah. I'm just going to trim them down because they need to be a certain size to Okay, work. it tells you in the pattern then what Again, size to yep. cut them to, yeah. Oh, it's width, it's width ways to trim yes. them down. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. So the, the reason that you do this is because then it any sort of distortion in the seam allowance. Yeah, oh yes, yeah? yes. Because yes, if you yes, cut yes. it for mm. then sewed it, you might end up with it too of narrow course, or yeah. too wide or but this way you end up with it bang on, yeah. which is what you want. Mm -hmm. When did we do these, this cushion last time, Hannah? First ever demoed. The what, sorry? 16th of September last year. Because obviously we're only going to do one row, whereas that will be a whole show on the cushion, won't it? Okay, so... What? So I'm actually using a piece... I, I don't know whether it's Styleville or Bozal. Um, Styleville, Okay, it? we've got Styleville in stock if you want um, to look at the website. Or you can use Thermalan. The, th the main thing is that you cannot use batting, ordinary quilt batting, because it's too fluffy, because you need to be able to draw a grid onto, onto it. Right. Um, and if, if it's fluffy, then it's just the, the grid's not firm enough to actually okay. adhere to. And in the pattern, it shows you, there's a picture, figure three, that shows you how to draw the complete grid. Right, brilliant. Um, I don't know if you want to... Hang on, Jess is just coming in on that now. There's this one at the top, and it shows you all three rows. Oh, hang on, the camera's not moving. Ooh. Oh, and can you come in a bit? Okay, yeah. that's okay. Fine, anyway, that's fine. it's got three rows and it shows you how to, and it talks about setting it up, um, show, tells you in the pattern how to set it up by working from the middle, working your rows out so that each contains 12 pleats right. in three okay. individual rows and so okay. they're evenly spaced. That is key to getting the design going on, okay. the, on the cushion. Way more people got it in your baskets than we've got stock of. Okay. So I have, in, in the pattern it says this as well, on the back of here I have some calico. Yep. The style comes in a 72 centimetre piece, sorry what's on the website, sorry what are you saying, so you've got calico on the back, yep. right? And I'm going to start building the design on the front. The Perfect. reason I've got the calico on the back is that to stop anything being pulled down into the bed of the machine, I've had that before, especially with the Thermalan. Okay, but you've got enough, in, you've got a metre in your, your bundle, so you've yeah, got enough exactly. in your bundle haven't you to yeah. do that. Okay, so here are all your little pleats ready right. to go. So what you're going to do is you're going to take, and it's called an L2 in the pattern. This right. is an L2 piece. You're going to place your pleat on top. So I'm overlapping it by about a quarter of an inch at the top uh -huh. and a bit more is at the bottom. Is that just a single piece of calico that yes. then? That's not folded? No. Nothing. So this is my pleat with its folded edge oh, towards my left. Oh, see. Yep. Yeah. And then I'm going to sandwich it with another piece I understand. on the top. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I might fish in here and put a pin in. This is why I've got the walking foot on. Right. Because I'm thinking it will work better with a walking foot through all those layers. Yeah, because you've got your, your Bozal or your Decaville, then yep. you've got your calico, yep. and then you've got a, two pieces of calico and your pleat, your colourful pleat to get yes, through. Yes, exactly. Yep. Okay, so here we go. So I've set it up to do a quarter inch seam. Uh -huh. um, and. 
So these lines here, also to remember as you go, are placement lines and not sewing lines. Fine. I'm making sure I've got everything on top of each other. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pull this piece over right and put your next pleat oh, okay on leave top. leave don't touch the first pleat then just leave it where it is yeah so that seam was obviously a little bit scant which is mean that it's just covering up that right. line yeah but that's the line you're aiming for so you want that l2 piece to meet that meet yes, that line yeah you want this, the raw edge, to go on that line, uh -huh. and then you want another sandwich on top. Brilliant. So basically, you're just sandwiching these pleats mm -hmm. with the fold on your left-hand side as you go along. Right, yeah. So I've been a bit brave this time. <laughs> no pin this <laughs> no pins. time. Actually, I'll take up the stitch um, uh -huh. length as well. I'm just going to work my way along piece by piece. And can you, can you see the method here that what I'm doing is I'm overlapping by a, a quarter of an inch at the top, but more at the bottom, because what is going to happen is I'm going to need to pull those pleats back. Oh, right. And okay. they'll need the extra. Yeah, you need more extra. than a quarter inch, yeah. yeah. So a quarter inch to the top, more like half to three quarters of an inch at the bottom, yeah? Yes. Well, actually, if you've cut the if you've cut the piece of fabric the right size, just quarter inch to the top, and then whatever's left at yeah, the bottom, yeah, exactly. You don't need to measure it, worry about yeah. the measurement. And again, so that doesn't really, you know, with the panel, it really doesn't. As long as you cut it somewhere in the yeah. white, it really doesn't matter yeah. where. Just do a few of these, keep mm -hmm. going. Okay, just, I know we haven't got to it yet, but the makeup bag with the Sally Ann fabric and the slate is nearly sold out. So if you've got that in your basket, I know we're enjoying this demo, but if you've got that one in your basket, the Sally Ann and the slate version, make sure you check out. Not for, and then the misty blue is not far behind. Did you say you have the pattern on its own as well? Yep. Yeah. The little pink bag pattern, yeah. Oh, the, well, for the cushion? Oh, that. I've got the pattern on its own for the cushion, cushion? yes. Yeah. But that's, that's going to just about to sell out, so that's why I've not mentioned it again. Oh, uh, right. So literally, the pattern on its own has sold out, will have sold out in a second, and there are eight people, I think it's eight, that haven't checked out yet. Six now, but there's, there's hun not hundreds, but loads and loads of those you've got it in your basket. Right. Yeah, so that's the instruction on their own, which is the thing in there. And then if you've got this, the bundle in your basket, you do need to check out because there's way more than six if you've got it there. Yeah, because in the, the little pattern club, there are quite a few people that bought the, just the cushion pattern okay. and made it using, um, like, a red, you know, somebody's there. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Sally Ann Harrison? They'd lost a relative. A memory. A memory. And, oh. and, and they'd use like the ties and everything oh. to make it into a memory cushion. Oh, that's and some, lovely. And someone had actually done that um, for their grandchildren, that, that they'd lost grandpa and they, oh. they'd actually made something out of the ties and given it to the grandchildren. But you could also do ties, you could do shirts, you yeah. could do anything, couldn't yeah, you, you could. really? Oh, that's so lovely. So basically, you do this three times. Do you? you make three of three of these rows? Do you? Is that what it is? Yes, you do. There's twelve in each row, uh -huh. um, and then there's just a band, which I'll I've show you in a minute. You. Yeah, that goes in between them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's so effective, isn't it? But actually, it's very simple. Yeah. I'm not trying to make, you know, say your ideas aren't very complicated, <laughs> but for, it's, for something that looks like it's going to be really complicated, it's actually quite a simple technique, isn't it? Yeah. It is. This is the last one. Message from Margaret. Love this cushion. Place my order. What is the backing fabric called that Sally Anna's used? Uh, she's used calico, Margaret. Calico. And then inside, she used, you used Bosal, did you, in yours? This? Inside. Yeah, yours. I think so. Yeah, Bo Bosal foam, yeah. We Bosal. start Bill will work. I've done Bosal. a few. I've used, I've used Bosal. I've used Thermalan. It doesn't need I've to be iron on or anything like that, does it? No. It needs to be something that you can draw on. Yeah. Okay. Right, so now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in place. Okay. So that's enough. Yeah, so you do all 12 on yours at home. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that top line back in. Right. Using a friction pen. Mm-hmm. Oh, glad to see you brought your red friction pen from home, <laughs> Sally Ann Harrison. <laughs> She didn't, by the way. Yeah, she forgot. It works better than my one at home. It's what? <laughs> I said it works better than my <laughs> one at home. Oh, well, well, that's the last we've seen of that red friction <laughs> pen, then. Okay. Right, so you've just redrawn in the top, top line, line, right? Yep, and I'm going to sew onto that line. Now. Okay. So, let's put this on. So I've got a slightly bigger stitch again, so I'm going to take it up to a three. See, quilting, it works better with a bigger, a bigger stitch. And I'm just sewing on that fricks and pen line. going to go back in the other direction right and I'll do this by hand as I go along yeah I'm going to start pulling the pleats back right so so I'm going to need to get them a little bit in position do you press them as you go or do you just pull them over and finger well press I was them? going to finger press them but it looks like they're not going to stay flat right. so I'm just going to some pins in. But you can see how it's beginning to yeah, yeah, come yeah, out yeah. already. So on the actual cushion, you've done, uh, you've gone like a rainbow from one side, the red through to the indigo and blue on the other side. Yeah. Obviously the one you're doing there, you've got all the red ones that you've just, reds and oranges that you've used, but you can place them colours wherever you want to place them, really. Yeah. I don't tend to iron it. Iron it. I tend to avoid ironing it because I don't really want to flatten it out completely. Okay, so keep so you, want so the, you want the design a bit raised? Yes, yeah. yeah, sails don't they yes yeah hannah thinks they look like little curtains <laughs> you think they look like little sails jesse's just not replying jesse doesn't know what they look like <laughs> right okay i'm going to do the same thing again and put in a bottom line right for me to sew on oh no phones in the gallery. Okay. Okay. And then you stitch those down as yep, well. Yeah, exactly. So 
So again, a bigger stitch through. Mm -hmm. Might even go up a bit even bigger than that. Yeah, you see, what, so if you've got a walking foot, this is really the best time yeah. to use it, isn't it? Because you're going through so many layers there. Would have been sensible if I put the pins in the other way around. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> like to say. <sew. laughs> So, lovely. Okay, so you would put twelve of those in a row, uh -huh. and then you'd put the borders in. So the way it works is you actually put a border. Let's go back to the picture. The borders go between each row. Uh -huh. So you'd put borders in at the top, in between, and at the bottom, and then you put the side borders on after. And you would just. So now, do you, when you've sewn that on? The piece of bosel, is that a specific size that you've cut? You know, like where you've drawn that on, like will there be bosel between, underneath that, uh, the sole style bill, would that be underneath where you're, you've just put that panel of calico on, that, piece, that border of calico? So, you, uh, so you make, you make, you're making three lines, three lines of the sails completely separately, yeah. are you? Yeah. Yeah. And then when you put this piece of fabric on now, that's got the style veil underneath it. Yes, still, exactly. It? It's almost like quilt as you go. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna sew it along here, press it back, turn it under, and oh, then loop it into okay. the one, yeah. loop it into the next one. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that you yeah, yeah, end yeah, up yeah. with a nice band. And I think in, in a couple of, yeah, in that one as well. I I then added some top stitching, which is effectively quilting as yeah, well. Yeah, of course. Quilting yeah, it yeah, in yeah. one go. Mm -hmm. So we just put these in. Yeah. Yeah, because we've got I've still got the makeup bag to do yet. So. Oh, how are we doing? Mm -hmm. Right, let's just. So, I'll just take this up right over to seven, I think it is, isn't it? As far as it'll go. Do the same uh -huh. the other way around. So yeah, if you're at home, you probably take more time placing it so of that course, it yeah. covers. And also, you could remove some of this as well if it's but if it's really bulky, you know, just remove some of the pleats. Oh yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. Lovely, that's and that's how you do the pleats. If you want to see the whole cushion being made, you don't you don't write borders on yours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you watch on the fifteenth uh, of September last year. Is that right? Or was it the sixteenth? Um, basically, for the whole the whole hours, because we need to move on to the other Sally and other project now. Is there anything else you want to say about that before we move um, on? I only wanted to say that it's also got that little bit of piping around the edge yeah, which was fun to do now, and it's cool. an envelope back so it's really straightforward to make the back just a complete show you the picture yeah six no no it's amazing there, 16th there of go. the ninth last year there you go it's an easy envelope black back brilliant right while you prep to okay. do this one i'll go through the bundles that are available for the little pink bag it's called the little pink bag but we've got a green one and a blue one as well as pink it's gorgeous do which one first oh okay i thought you were going to do that one first because it was nearly sold out but there you go Pink one first, that's to make this exact thing. Uh, we haven't got the Rick Crack or the seed pearls on our, oh sorry, 
Rick Rack all the seed pearls on ours, but um, to make this one, you need your instructions, you need your little zip, you need half a meter of rows, you need a fat quarter of the pattern fabric and a fat quarter of the PVC. All of that for 19 pounds and 99 pence, and that will make you exactly that. Beautiful. Okay, so that's that one, that one, that one. Now, if you want to do it in misty blue, which isn't blue at all, but here we go. So you get the pattern and the instructions in there. I mean, they're very thorough. And look at the quality of them. Just look at every single page has a photo and writing and everything. It's fantastic value, that. So you get that. You get your zip. You get your fat quarter of your um, PVC. You get your fat quarter of your Liberté. And you get half a metre of misty blue. Beautiful. And then last but not least, in the bundles, we've got the Sally Ann. So, two left. There's only two of the Sally Ann remaining. Two of these left. So you get the instructions. You get the zip. You get the PVC. Hmm? Yeah, no, you got a nice one to print. We were saying after that collection, you got one of the nicest prints to name, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I one? did. I really liked it. It's beautiful. In, in the law, in the law, when we launched it, we came in three different colours, the Salia. Right, and then you also get half a metre of your slate. You've got to be very quick on that one because that one's about to go because there's only two of those not checked out. Right, I've also got a couple of things by for sale on their own. Instructionis. Remember, if you buy either instruction on their own or any of the bundles, the email address on the back, you can email Sally Ann and become part of her little pattern club. Yeah. <laughs> little pattern club. Because your sweetie club sold out, isn't it? Uh, well, no, it's not sold out. You oh, can... hang on. I've got that wrong. <laughs> you can still join, but we have started. Oh, yeah. you can still join the sweetie club, but you yeah. can't buy a bundle. That's right. That's right. The bundle's all sold out. Anyways, so that's 9 99 and then the PVC on its own is where you buy it by the half metre. Obviously, you only need a fat quarter for the actual thing. But you've already got it in your bundle. You don't need to buy it separately. But if you've already made one, you want to make more, then this is the PVC, 2 99 for half a metre. Fabulous. Right, so what are you doing over there? Okay. She's dropped her <laughs> iron over. <laughs> yeah, I'm moving around with an iron. So, yes, I am ironing my... PVC. Which a lot of people think you can't do. Yeah, so I've got it under a piece of parchment paper, but any paper will do. Is that like greaseproof paper? Yeah. yeah. In the so, and I've days. got it on a medium okay. heat. It is really surprising how much you can do with clear PVC, you know, make what you can make with it. Yeah. The first time I saw it, it was just like, whoa, you can do all these things. Well, no, no, because you look at it thinking, well, I can't sew it, I can't iron it, yeah. I can't do this, I can't do that. But actually, if you know what you're doing, you can do an awful lot with it. Yeah. Okay, so now you're showing okay. us, we're not making the whole bag, are we? No. You're just going to show us which bits. So, I, one of the most important things about the whole process is that you have to cut bias strips, and I'm just going to show you how to create the front of the bag using bias strips. Okay, Okay. Um, That's why sally has got a different fabric to us, because we're not making one of our bundles. She's just got a pale blue one that she's going to show you how to do the front of. Yeah. So it tells you what size to cut your strips. And here they are, that's out of the bias. Right? Mm -hmm. And what you're going to do with the strips. Oh, that's why you need half a metre. I was thinking, yeah. oh, do I need half a metre this? But that's why you need half a metre because you're cutting bias. Because you're cutting it on the that. bias, yeah. If you make a mistake, if you don't cut it on the bias, it's not going to work. No. Because it needs that give to be able to form okay. the sort of ellipse shape. And for somebody who's watching for the very first time, thinking, what does bias mean? So it's not, so the fabric has a straight grain, a cross right grain is like that at mm -hmm. right angles. Um, your bias grain is that way. The 45 five degree. degree. And it's more, it's much more stretchy Perfect. than the warp or the weft grains, which are the... And it has to be bias cut on this one. Yes. So I'm just ironing it right sides together. It doesn't really make any difference with this fabric, does it? No. No. And then what you would do is actually fold it into the middle. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to do a lot of this, you could do it with a pin. Have you seen it done with a pin before? Whereby you... So I know that I want this to be an inch wide. Right. So I would... 
and this this mat in particular is really good for this yeah you'll have a nice clean one at home not yeah. like our grubby one we're still waiting for Elliot to get us a nice clean one for the studio I don't know whether you're oh Matt's gonna let me do this but so I've gone across exactly one inch yeah so if you just fold in the sides oh clever I can see what you're gonna do can you <laughs> you've probably done it later no and then just start it off yeah. like that. There we go. And then, in theory, Slide that through. this. It's like having your own bias binding maker. Yep. This will go through here. Exactly. How brilliant. One inch, right? Yeah. So you can pull it through and iron it. So you generally, you'd use two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, you get the idea that you can. How brilliant. And it always. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. if you had another one this side, it would yeah, guide so it into the Yeah, first exactly. One, so it, yeah. And, and you stick the iron in the middle. But, yeah. Yeah, so you'd have two. I've never seen that before. No? Never, ever, ever seen that before. And that's brilliant. So, yeah, so we're going to fold that into the middle. Mm -hmm. And you can see that it's staying at an inch because you've got the lines yeah, in, the, exactly. in the mat too. So. Yeah, at home I would put two pins in. Yeah. It. So that's how wide we want it, isn't it? Yeah, inch? we want it an yeah. inch wide and we're cutting it, it comes out two inches, yeah. so. How brilliant. Yeah, because it's on the bias. If you don't have a guide like that, sometimes it does go a little bit wider, a little bit narrower, doesn't it? Yep. That's going to make sure that it doesn't. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Exactly with the other pin there, then you can just move it between mm. the two. Right. Right. Yeah. Brilliant. That's a, an excellent, excellent tip there. Okay. <coughs> That's it. Right. That's brilliant. Okay, so here are some that I made earlier. Yeah. And here is my piece of vinyl. Now this piece of vinyl, I don't know if you can see. Yep, this is my piece of vinyl. Uh -huh. This is slightly, I think it's slightly smaller than the, the cur than the actual project itself. I, I think I'm aiming to put in two, I'm going to try and demonstrate oh, okay. two so rows don't, for you. Don't be look, yours won't, at home won't look like this no. because you've made it slightly smaller yeah. for the demo. Okay. And what I did, and it tells you this in the pattern again, is you take the very first strip, put it right in the middle of your piece of vinyl. So you find the midpoint. Right. And do you see, see I've got like a, a slight mark down the middle uh -huh. as well. And what you would do is you would actually just pin it or in place it. with a couple of clips. Yeah. Yeah. And then go in and sew the first line because you're going to sew the first line in and then you're going to move out and put strips okay. next to each so other. So you, the middle. you sew it down the middle, do you? Yes. So if I put the next strip in, yeah. so the next strip is just going to go up hard against that oh, one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so once you've got the first one in, there's no more measuring after that because nope. you're literally just butting them up to each other. Yeah. Now, and did you use a special needle to go through the PVC? No. I just used an, well, I tend to use a Microtex, a uh, 1280 Microtex, uh -huh. and that's what I always used, yeah, and it was fine. fine. So I'm just going to go down the centre of that piece. Okay. I'm trying to find the centre now. There we go. And do you, what size stick do you use? I, at the moment, I'm using the three. Right. Um, three and a half. I would probably use a three. Okay. Right, so that was just slightly off because I haven't moved my needle position back oh, to the middle. Oh, no. Yes. But I'll keep going. And then you just put the next one in. So, yeah. So yours will all go yeah. dead down the centre using a size three stitch using a normal universal 1280 needle. Thank you, yes. Perfect. comes out a lot more accurate if you build from the middle. If you build from one side, things tend to sort of like yeah. tip sideways. 
And you using just a, a compliment, would you just use, a, if you were doing yours, a pale blue thread? Yes. Or, a, yeah, a pale blue thread or a um, invisible, like a monofilament oh, thread. Oh, yes, 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 yeah. How are we doing for time? You're all right, keep going. Mm. So you basically just cover the whole of the plastic with strips, the yes. bias strips. Yeah. And in the pattern as well, there is a, a, a point when I point out that I've actually given you what I call oodles. You have oodles to play with. So I make you make something that's slightly bigger than what you actually need because time has taught me it's always better to have too much to play with once you've actually created all those lovely little curves. I mean, it might be that you've got one on one side that you don't like, whereas if I've given you a bigger piece to make, yeah. you've got much more chance. Choice, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because it's horrible if you make it to exact size and yep. you mess up on one exactly. of them. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Oh, have you run out of strips? I'm just going to put these in as okay. well. So this would be pressed a little bit better than this one yeah. currently is. Because obviously you need it as flat as you can get. Possibly, yeah. So I'm just lining it up with lines on my mat. on the other side as well. Mm like it behaves itself you think sewing on top of the pvc it would be slippy but it's yeah, actually it's not behaving, it's surprising it? well i must admit i when i first started playing around with it i thought i'd need a teflon foot but yeah. i've never needed a teflon foot <coughs> I bet they don't possess one i bet you've got a teflon foot i don't know <laughs> if i have i've never used it <laughs> Once you've got those in, I'm going to draw a couple of lines across. And right. it, again, in the pattern, it gives you all the, the measurements. Uh -huh. It's a bit of a big ruler, but drop mm -hmm. down. So I'm putting the next line down here. So it tells you in the instructions what width to yep. draw these lines, doesn't it? And then another. Oh, same at. Oh. That's the, that's the half side, isn't it? So I've confused myself there. Oh. Should we take that one out off first? Yeah. So it's good with a friction pen if you yep. make a mistake. Just iron over it. Got friction pens tomorrow. Subtitles making up all sorts of weird words today. Yes. <laughs> right. Let's get this right this time. Two, two inches. I'm just going to give you two, yeah. hopefully two rows. Yeah. Oh, and now you stitch those lines down, do yep. you, once you've just drawn stitch them? stitch them down. <clears throat> yeah, 
So again, you'd use your matching thread or... Uh -huh. Or if you get very confident at it, you could start using a contrast thread, couldn't you? It could do. <coughs> because if you think, if you, if you did those in like a dark, on the pink one, if you did them in a dark pink, they'd look quite nice, wouldn't they? I don't know. Who am I? <laughs> Jean Valjean. So I'm just sewing on all of the fricks and uh -huh. lines. The other thing I suppose you have to watch when you're doing this is that the, 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 nothing folds up. You want to keep everything underneath the, the foot yeah. as flat as possible. Now comes the fun part when you go in and you sort of reveal the window. So okay. I'm going to go in and can you see how oh. how it will bend away? Yeah. Okay. To do that, I'm going to have to change the, the foot. The foot. So um, a couple of questions. People asking how much Stalville or Bosel they actually need for the cushion. Is it just the size of the square of the finished cushion? That's all yeah. you need, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, one piece, because the piece is 72 centimetres, isn't it? So you buy it by the half metres. I'll just check this isn't I'm coming in behind you. Don't turn okay. around. Oh, easily. Yeah, because the, the cushion's only 48 centimetres across. So you'll easily get it out of the half a metre half a metre of that. Yeah. Yeah. Beverly yeah. Diane, you just need your half metre. Okay. So, yeah, what you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to sew those back into position. And I'm going to go and do like a row. So I'm going to go all the way down one side okay. and then back up the other side. So we're just okay. going to do two rows. It does help if you've got a stiletto. Yep. Oh, that's from the ad in the last, oh, this old ad from the last ad. You're using a tailor's all there. Is there, is there a difference? Okay, yeah. is there? Oh, it's fine. fine. <laughs> Something with a pointy end. Basically. Something with a pointy yeah. end. Yep. And the smallest foot that you can come up with. I mean, I don't know whether it might work even better with a zip foot. I did try in the break, but I couldn't find a zip foot that would fit. The oh, no. Oh, but a zip yeah. foot might be even better because I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch look all the way. Right those, down that yeah? edge. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it might do. Um, so this is my smallest foot that I could come up with. So again, if you want to use a matching thread. Yeah and a perhaps a smaller stitch. I might turn it down to about 2.2. Okay. Um, and a needle, you know, if you've got a needle down facility as well. Yes, yeah, so knee we lift. Pivot, yeah. Yep, it's all going to help. So you just stop on that line yeah. and peel the next one back. And because it's on the bias, it should just fold back nicely. Exactly, yeah. You may need to hold it a little bit with a tailor's all or a uh -huh. stiletto. Okay, stop my needle down, pivot around the bottom. Yeah, because on the actual um, makeup bag, you've got three rows, haven't you? <coughs> Sorry. Yes, I have. Do we have a date when this was very first made, please, Hannah? Just going to go into the next right. row. Do that top bit that it likes to try mm -hmm. and curl back. 
you can just hold on to that. So I'm just going down one side and then back up the other. Yeah, of course, yeah. Making it look so easy. It's surprisingly easy, it yeah. really is. As long as you've got the right tools, it, it just does it. Because this is a variation of the Liberty Chain needle case that I did in the middle of last year, uh -huh. which was the same sort of effect, but a lot smaller. Yes. Um, and not with the, the, the PVC, vine. Yeah. PVC. Keep going. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, no, you can, you can uh, bring it. You can show us what you've done. Okay. Now. That'd be fine. fine. Thank you. Right. I'll sh talk to you about the other aspects. Have you got that fat quarter? No, Have we got what? The Sally Ann. The Sally Ann. Because we quarter. said we would see yeah, what it looked like go. underneath. Woo! There we go. So you can just about see. Yeah. Obviously, yours will be with slate rather than the powder yep. blue, but obviously. But you can see how yep. it peaks through. Lovely. So you're going to have a quilted back. Yeah. Um, there's a zip as well in the kit. Yeah, yeah there's a zip in the kit. Yep, yeah. straightforward. Um, I've overlocked the inside of mine, which was a bit of a cheats way, but in the pattern I show you how to actually bind the edges. Oh, okay, perfect. Because you don't want them to show through, really, no. because of the clear and clear um, PVC. Brilliant. That's lovely. Thank you. Can I have that fat quarterback now, please? Okay. Um, that's absolutely brilliant. Do you know when you're in next? Um, 18th. Oh, 18th of January? Yeah. Perfect, lovely. We'll see you then. And I wish you and or everyone in your family a happy new year. And you, John. Thank, Thank you ever you so much. much. Right, just recapping the bundles. Any order, Hannah? Uh, Orange Liberty first. So that's this one here, which is the rose. It's called rose, right? Or blush. Blush, they've called it. So you get half a metre of your blush rose. Half the stock, over half stock of this one's gone. You get a fat quarter of your Liberty, fat quarter of your PVC, your zip and your instructions. £19.19. And £19. So you just need a little bit of wadding to do, just to quilt the backing, wouldn't you really? Just your lightweight wadding. So that's that one for £19.99. The... Slate, well, Misty Blue next, Misty Blue. Oh, Slate sold out. Slate, Sally Ann sold out. Right, so in the Misty Blue, you get half a metre of your Misty Blue, which is actually green. You get a fat quarter of your Liberty, fat quarter of your PVC, your zip and your instructions. Oops, sorry, £19.99. I do have the pattern on its own, if you'd like it. There we go. 9 99 if you type in to YouTube, Sally Ann Harrison, Little Pink Bag, I'm sure that it'll come up on the day that you want to look for it. 9 .99. And then last but not least, before we go for the break, the PVC on its own by the half metre. Now, you only need a fat quarter for the project, but if you can buy it by the half metre, we're going to remake more. At 2 99 Fantastic. Right, don't go anywhere. I will see you straight after break with Clarence. Do you love sewing? Are you creative, inspiring, and love to share your skills and tips with others? We're excited to announce Sewing Street's Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking, quilting, homewares, and needlecraft. To join the Sewing Street family and share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, 
head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good, Good luck. luck! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Hi, I'm Rebecca Harrison. I live in Bromyard in Herefordshire with my three children and my dog. Um, I've been sewing for uh, over 30 years. Um, I first started um, at school, um, we always did lots of sewing, and my mum used to sew at home as well, so that's where my love of sewing has come from. My background is in costume, as I'm sure you can see, um, and I, I make for film and theatre and TV. I've worked on films such as Titanic, Shakespeare in Love, Evita, James Bond, um, and theatre work. I've done things like Mary Poppins, Guys and Dolls, Prince of Egypt. Um, I've also worked for the Royal Opera House and the Royal Ballet. Um, when I worked at Angels, I was lucky enough to meet lots of film stars. They're all uh, walking around the building and in fittings. Um, and some of the people that I bumped into and met were Sir Richard Attenborough, um, Hugh Grant, Imelda Staunton, Juliette Binoche, um, and I even got in the lift with Christopher Lee. Um, and that's where I met the lovely John Scott, which obviously you all know. Um, I'm really pleased to be joining Sewing Street. I can't wait to see you all. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harborough. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. But I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try, there's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes, it's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. Clearance! It's clearance time. Sorry there's no yarn lane today, but it's because we're on a bank holiday and we're doing a clearance uh, right now. Now let me just move into the right place in this desk, otherwise Jess will get angry with me. Right, now Sally Ann uh, demonstrated this the first time we ever did this. So a really, really lovely uh, project, this one. It's Stacey Estizu. Now, she did, we had her fabrics on just recently, didn't we? 
The animals in the jungle, I think. Anyway, this is Moda on the go. Let's fly quilt kits. 155 by 183 uh, centimetres, which is 61 by 72 inches. Getting very confused there with my measurements. Uh, we love this. Let me see if I can open it up. Well, we've got, we should have an open. Oh, no, there you go. I've got, I've got it. I'm not, I'm not going to open all the fabrics, I think. Right, it's clearance, right? So on a normal day, you pay 99 pounds and 99 pence. Two split payments of 49.99. Watch this. Watch this. You'll see the... Look! You can get this home of two split papers of £29.99. I know. £59.99 for a whole quilt top from Moda. Whole quilt top. There it is. Now, you don't have to do them in that order if you don't want to. You can do... Obviously, the red one always has to be the biggest one. You have them going down in size. You can do whichever you want to. But it's all in the box everything you need is in here for the top and the binding so that's your white background fabric it's not just plain white it's got like um little tire print pattern in it like white on white then you've got your yellow your green your airplane is made of the gray stripe so you've got the two different greens there for the um like the what's it called that comes out the back airflow no what's it called you know when a, a red arrow goes past it's got all the plumage at the back or whatever the smoke Red arrow smoke, except I don't think this is a red arrow. But anyway, you make the aeroplane up in the stripe. That's your background. £40 has just come off that price. £40. It's enough for the front and the binding of the quilt. Finish size 61 to 72, skill level intermediate. So what you do is the aeroplanes aren't... Um, Appliqued on, they are actually uh, pieced. Let me show you if I can see if I can open this for you. Hang on. Oh, single figures. Look, you've got all your templates here for your aeroplane. There you go. So there's your templates for your aeroplane. So they're all pieced. You have a big piece of the white at the top here. And then you do your stripes down the side here. $59.99. Look. All your instructions, thorough, thorough, thorough instructions there. Beautiful. All, everything you need is in there. Everything you need is in there. There's only four left. For, I'm not surprised. We've just taken 40 pounds off. 40 pounds we've just taken off that. I know, bank holiday. Bank holiday savings. Goodbye. Oh, no, I'm not going to say that. Uh, 59.99. <laughs> I was thinking of double glazing, wasn't I? 59.99. We don't sell double glazing. 59.99. No, it was. It was a town cry and then it turned into Pat Butcher. Yeah, it did. 29.99. Uh, two, two payments of 29.99. It's 59.99. No interest charge whatsoever and it will be shipped out to you as soon as you paid the first one. I oh, know, isn't that brilliant? Forty pounds off. Moda on the go. Let's fly quilt kit. Quality fabric at fifty nine ninety nine. Please be careful if you've got in your basket. Give us a call, Oita. Up, oh, gone. Go, 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 go. Right, so where would you like to go now then, Hannah? That must be the one over here. Moda Mill Creek Garden. Again, now we had a traditional Moda one earlier that was the brick reds and the creams, wasn't it? This one's more of your aubergines. Aubergines and creams. Now, uh, clearance, the whole, everything in this hour is going to be reduced, is it? <sighs> 34 .99. Look at the greens in there, the gorgeous sage greens. You've got the chocolate browns. You've got the purples and the lilacs and the creams in there. Really, 10 pounds off. 10 pounds off. Loads of you there, loads of you there. Make sure you check out straight away though. Remember, you can check out as many times as you like. You don't, you, it doesn't change your PMP. It's not like we add, add something, your PMP change. It's one PMP for the whole day, remember. £34.99.
Gorgeous. There, look at the colours in there. It's Moda, remember. Top, top quality fabric. Beautiful. 34 99 40 strips. Keep going through. Just because we're finishing the auction doesn't mean to say that it's sold out. It will do. It will sell out, but it doesn't mean because we've got so much to get through. Fruity one. This one's lovely. I love this one. Now, for some reason, it's all fruit salads and ice creams, I think, and sushi. Brightly coloured sushi. Look. Look all those lovely colours in there. Right, $49.99. Oh, right, so the last one had £10 off it. Guess how much this one's having taken off it. You just heard Guessy. You, Jesse, you can't Guessy. <laughs> no Guessy, Jesse. £34.99. Just, they've just taken £15 off there. £15 just came off there. Oh, no. Oh, no. And they're gorgeous colours. There's ice lollies. If I remember right, there's ice lollies, there's sprinkles, there's uh, harlequins, and there's sushi. And what's that one there? I don't know what that one is. That looks like kettlebells. I'm sure it wasn't. New year, new you, new exercise, new colourways, new skill, new hobby, new craft. Oh, Jesse wants new friends. That £15 has just come off that. £15 just came off that. For no reason at all. What's the matter? Oh, Hannah's amazed herself by taking £15 off. She said, goodness me. Keep going through, though. Keep going through. Check out. If you want any of these things, just check out straight away. That's all I'm going to say. £34.99. She's just taken £15 off. It is. If you want it, check out on that. Oh, look at that. Why am I looking over there? I'm doing a Rebecca Reed. If you want it, check out. Now, this worries me. Now, now, now. K Fast in the studio. That's already crashed, isn't it? Okay, right, before we do anything, it says save eight pounds here. That's well and truly gone out the blooming garden, that is, because 30 pounds this book is meant to be. And when we launched it, other websites had it for £30. We didn't sell it for £30, did we? We sold it for £27.99, I seem to remember. Yeah, that would be the £8 off then to make it £19.99. So you've already got from 30 27 where we started, went to oh, £17.99. So that is £10 less than we first sold it for, but actually... £12 less, is that where I've got my maths right? £30 it's supposed to be, yeah, £12 less than it should be. And no postage if you bought it on the six days in the 12 days of Christmas, Maureen. Yes, thank you for reminding me. Yep, if you can't now join in with that, you either did it or you didn't do it. £17.99. It's beautiful. It's such a beautiful book. It's all about its studio. It's got patterns in it at the back as well. And instructions. Right? But then it's all about his life. His house. The dusting, the toilet, a kitchen, everything. I don't know how they dust that. $17.99. Apparently Brandon's in charge of dusting, according to Jesse. When Jesse went round last, Brandon was dusting. Seventeen ninety nine for a book that should be thirty pounds. Look, almost, almost half price there. Beautiful, isn't it? Have it for the coffee table. Have you not? Where'd you put your coffee cups down in the lounge then? On the f <laughs> okay, seventeen ninety nine. Hannah hasn't got a coffee table. Where do you put your nice books then? On the sh you've got lovely bookshelves in your... Yeah, yeah, so it'd be no, lovely on the bookshelf, wouldn't it? You wouldn't be allowed to touch it anyway if you went round to Hannah's house. If there was a coffee table book, that would just be for looking at the page. She'd got it open at. You couldn't touch it. 
Oh, she has got a coffee table. She uses it as. It fat fits in the gap next to the fireplace. And what's on it? Just a table with nothing on it. Hang on, and there's a shelf underneath. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So you've got a coffee table on a shelf up there. Oh, oh, yeah, there's a shelf attached to the coffee table underneath. I thought you meant... Anyway, 1799, I'm bored of that story now. Having never been invited round, I wouldn't know these things. I don't want to come round now, thank you. Except when I start shopping in that lovely uh, plant shop that's opening in Moseley, I'll be popping to Moseley. No. I, we can go to the cake shop in Moseley. 17.99. Right, moving on. There's nowhere to park in your village, though. Yeah, exactly. Halloween themed, tiny treaters. Now this is Jill H. Worth, who designs for Riley Blake. Right, 49.99, these are 10 inch squares. I'll show you all the different patterns in there. Lovely, so you've got pizzas. No, are they pizzas? I can't see them. Oh, Margaret had that book, that cave book. She says it was brilliant. I just did. Forty nine ninety nine is what you should be paying for this. Forty two ten inch chart. Oh, twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine ninety nine. You're getting ten inch square. Now on the picture they look like five inch squares. They're ten inch squares. Is it? Um, it's just cotton, isn't it? Quilting cotton. Yeah, quilting cotton, twenty nine ninety nine for 42 10-inch squares. That's not meant to, that's very, that really is the new lowest ever price. Twenty nine ninety nine. Now, it is Halloween themed. Shall we have a look? They've sellotaped this up, so I can't open it. Shall we just show the fabrics in the back here? Oh, got a still, yeah, we'll have a look at them. There you go, hang on, let me move that. There you go, have a look, there you go, there you go. So you've got the scenes, you've got the pizzas, you've got the alphabet, you've got the bark, you've got the pumpkins, you've got the skeletons, and you've got the night sky. Twenty nine ninety nine. Joyce, only half your message came through, my love. What did he give you? Oh, wow, says Margaret from East Yorkshire. Which, which bit are you worrying about? It? They're all wows in this hour so far, aren't they? Yeah. 29.99. I'm halfway through Sound of Music, got to get home. Watch the... No, no, I've seen it enough times, I know exactly what happens. But the thing is, right, so we watched these two films over Christmas and we were like, oh, these are ever so long. These are ever so long, these films. I watched um, Don't Look Up and... Oh, well, I didn't mind that the House of Gucci was long because I loved it. But um, I put the music on last night thinking, oh, I'll be in bed in an hour and a half. Two hours, 50 minutes. It's quite, it's quite a long film, isn't it, Sound of Music? OK, 29.99, well done. Jesse wants to know what's the longest film ever made. It'll be a director's cut of something, won't it? What's next? Oh! Right, uh, now, this one is Gnome for Christmas Flannel, this one. I haven't got a designer's name on this one, so this one's done by Riley Blake. Oh, it's lovely. Now, it is Christmassy, but you can make yourself a lovely Christmas quilt now, ready for next Christmas. This is going to 39.99. No, she's been a bit naughty today. So the notes say 39.99. £10 off. Is that £10 off? Hannah's taken another £5 off. 
It's flannel. It's that beautiful, beautiful soft flannel. And look at the look at the patterns. Look at the gorgeous snowflakes, holly, the presents. The oh look, they're stunning, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. They've got the, the greens, the whites, the reds, and the blacks there. Gorgeous. Thirty. There it is. Thirty-four ninety-nine. Remember they're flannel. These flannel. Flannel. Gnome for Christmas. I understand it's Christmas fabrics and you're sick of the sight of Christmas. But put it in your stash. Make it next November for Christmas. I tell you what, you won't be getting a Riley Blake 10 inch charm pack for the, oh, excuse me, for $34.99 next Christmas, will you? Oh, the cave book, Margaret. Yes, I know. There's so many wows, though, this, this hour, aren't there? Joyce, what did you get? Oh, I've got hiccups. That's not good, is it? It's the excitement of being here again. I don't know what Hannah's saying to me now. Okay, let's have a look over here. I've got cats. Oh, rabbits, there you go. It's wide, look. Panama. Panama canvas, 75% cotton, 25% polyester. Now it's 60 inches wide, this I think, isn't it? Oh, it might be 55. Let me just check. Chica chica, boom, boom. 55 inches wide, 55 inches wide. This is nice, what's this? Anyway. Look at the sweet little rabbits. Well, are they rabbits or are they hares? I think they're hares, aren't they? Shabby hares, there you go, in pink. Right, you're buying it by the half metre, half price. Half price, you can buy this off the bolt by the half metre. Yeah, come on in on the hair. Two ninety nine. Hannah went. Oh, that's point. I must. I must make, book an appointment at the dentist. I mean hairdresser. Yeah, two ninety nine. Eighty five hour film for, called the cure for insomnia. Well, you wouldn't be able to sleep, would you, for eighty five hours? Oh, can you imagine? See, I mean, I thought seeing Nicholas Nickleby for eight hours in the theatre years ago was long enough. Right, that's moving on. Oh, no, the message, sorry, not moving on. Uh, some lovely bargains today, John, watching lying on the sofa. Oh, oh, no, trying to get over COVID. You'll keep me entertained and brighten up my day from Annette. Oh, Annette! Annette! Oh, you poor thing. That's Annette, Annette. They made your hat. Yeah, they made your hat. Oh, now, Annette, she wore your Christmas hat on Christmas Day and went home, and her mum had made her hat, and she was angry that she didn't wear her hat. Why aren't you wearing my hat? Why aren't you wearing Annette's hat? Two ninety-nine for half a metre, this. Beautiful. So then I need to do the kittens on the same Panama, don't I? 55 inches wide. Happy cats, not five ninety nine. Oh, Facebook's got jammed. Don't expose us again. Two ninety nine for half a meter. I think it must be when a message comes in on their the other iPad. It, they've got the volume on. It goes. Ba -da -ba -da -da. At two ninety nine for half a meter, fifty five inches wide. Now this is seventy five percent cotton. 25% polyester. What would you make out of this then? Cat bed. Uh, a wall hanging to keep the, the um, cat stuff in. You know, like the, not the lead, not the lead. The nibbles and the hairbrush and things like that. Storage, notebook cover. Bolster cushion. Oh, she's full of ideas today, isn't she? Jewellery. Oh, door stop. Pencil case, Jesse says. Jesse's got a thing about pencil cases because oh, the only thing he wanted for Christmas, did you get it, Jesse? Was a pencil case. 
Welsh leather. Welsh. Well, yeah, you get Welsh lamb, don't you? Ah, oh, that's nice. You didn't get anything to put in it. Just got the. Ah. Oh. I think always think that dads end up as the worst off at Christmas. They put all of it in, and then it's kind of like, oh, just that Jesus doesn't need much. Moving on. Ah, oh, is that all you got in? Oh. Michael Miller, Picnic by the Lake panel. So you did loads of thought, Hannah did loads of thought into all of her dad's presents and the only thing he went on about was his socks with a cooked breakfast on it. Oh, talking about full English breakfast. Got his, his threads coming up later. Right, riding his fran, tra-la-la-la-la-la. Lazy days by river. Life is sweet. Picnic by the lake. Make your mind up, you by the lake or the river. Homemade. 6 99 No, 10 99 Save four pounds off that. Yes, you have. Tra-la-la-la, riding is fun. Tra-la-la. When I first moved into my very first house, the only lampshades I could afford were those ones, that, the paper ones that you'd go, they make a funny noise when you open them all up, don't they? And then but they rot really quickly, don't they? Oh, so that's the pink bike at the bottom here. For not something to say for girls. We're gender fluid here. No, the one at the top's red. Oh, hang on. See? Pink or red? Tra la la! Riding is fun. Oh, actually, look, it's different because they've got all the lanterns up there and they've got bunting and lanterns at the bottom here. So in the red bite, you've got plants, wine, and grape, or they sprouts. And in this one, you just have bunt. I wouldn't want that bunting there. Just flowers and bumblebees in that one. Beautiful, though, isn't it? That whole panel for six ninety nine. Lovely cotton as well. Michael Miller, Picnic by... Oh, now it's called Picnic by the Lake. What about the river? Lazy Days by the River. They're not very interested... They're not very interested in picnics, are they? Grapes, apples and a bit of bread. Yeah, look. Grapes. Panini. That's what... You need your heater for your panini, don't you? What's something... Oh, Joy or Joyce, did you say? Oh, sorry, I've been saying Joyce. It was Joy. My son may go to Case Book Christmas along with a very generous Stone Street voucher. Happy New Year to you all from Joy and Kent. Joy and enjoy Joy. Anise. You, oh, no, you can't have the code to the January postage unless you bought six times during... It was a, a thing we did. You buy six times during the first 12 days of Christmas, then you get the free code. If you did, however, do that and buy six times in the first... and you haven't received your code, first of all, look in your junk mail on your email. If it's not there, ring the call centre and they'll sort it out for you. It's a free call. Just round the corner. They've just done it. Barbara's just said the word P and L. VPL. I've got a visible panty line. Fussy cut cathedral window cushion. Oh, with the cats? Yeah, fussy cut, not fussy cat. Fussy cut cat cathedral. Be nice. I can't say those words altogether. Where are we going next, then? Yeah, over there. Uh oh. No, no, I'll just, I'm just. i leaving this for now, then. And there. Oh, we'll come back. We'll come back. All right, so I'll put all that there. Take what with me? Oh, the iPad. The what? <laughs> you want me to bring everything with me? All right, then. Beldre, door hang up now. There's one of these open in the dressing room. No, it hasn't got dirty Lord G in it. I'm going to open this one anyway. Right, so this is brilliant, right? Storage. Fabrics, dash, you get two hooks, right? The hooks hang over the top of your door. I haven't got a door here to be able to show you, right? And then this hangs on the back of your door like this from the two hoops. 
and it's meant to be a laundry bag. So what you do is you put your dirty washing in there. Now I said when we first got them, oh, I don't want to delve my hands into there and pull out people's dirty washing. You don't have to, look. It's got a zip across the bottom, so all of Jesse's smalls can fall straight out into the laundry bag, a laundry basket. Right, now this is 11 99 We only brought this literally just before Christmas, didn't we? Crash in. Five ninety nine. It could be soft toys. We're thinking it could be one for, good one for soft toys. Keep your wadding off cuts in there. Okay, I'm saying it's five pounds and ninety nine pence. It's just come up on my iPad as five hundred and ninety nine dollars. Just so you know. I mean, it's it's not very interesting to look at, but you're gonna oh, it's gonna stay on the storage. All those dirty pants that usually live on the floor can live in there. Hangs from the two loops on the back. And it hangs over the back of the door. So you can still shut the door. I'm not quite sure what those little yellow things are for. Oh, I know. They're to stop it marking your door. You stick them on, it stops marking your door. And then literally, I've, like I said, I've got a tie rack. Well, I use it for my belts now, but I've got a tie rack that does this. So that bit there actually goes over the top of your door so you can still shut the door. That bit hangs down and then you put the hoops over there. 5.99. Pull that back in properly in there. Loving it, loving it, loving it. <laughs> right, okay, let me just put that away there. Let's do the what, what? Which one is it? What's it finished with? 67 or... 40. 67 first. Right, this is from the So Crazy Girls. This is from June, this. June the 19th. It's the Snazzy Shoe Storage. Actually, do you know what? The PVC we had earlier, you'll need to add PVC to this. Because you got, you've got the instructions, you've got your lovely uh, fab Japanese fabric there, crane fabric there. Beautiful, beautiful. That looks like Macau fabric, if you ask me. Linen texture, Macau it is. You can always tell a quality cotton. Uh, plus the instructions. You'll need to add to it then your PVC to go on the front, which we had on the last hour. Right, hang on a sec. This starts off life as 39.99. 10 pounds off, first time we've ever reduced it. 10 pounds off. $29.99. A So Crazy Girls collab pattern with Lisa Lamb and Jenny Jackson. But I, I thought, yeah. So you'll need, I, does it say how much PVC you need? I would say one metre of clear PVC. Beautiful. $29.99. So you just get the fabric and the instructions on that one. Beautiful. Is that, is that, oh no, that's the, the tidy, the sofa tidy, isn't it, that one? Armchair tidy, this one, because you get, now. <laughs> yeah, in this one. You get very, very, very strong magnets in this one. Right, so what you do is you make your overarm, you can either make it hanging on the wall or you can make it go over the sofa arm or arm check, right? You have fabrics to make it with, right? There's all these fabrics here to make it with. And then you get this. So this here, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Um... This goes inside, right? And then you put these inside the things you make. And they're such strong magnets, these. Really, really, really strong magnets. That's not, that's not a magnet, by the way. That's the thing that goes between the magnet and the thingy. Um, anyway, where are we going on price? Knock it off 20 pounds. 20 pounds coming off that price. This is the pink turquoise colorway. That's it hanging on the wall. And then there's also, is we got a picture of it over the arm of a chair as well? Oh, okay. The, this one here is over the arm of the chair like this. Ten 
taking 20 pounds off. 20 pounds off. Thirty-nine ninety-nine. Gorgeous fabrics as well. Look at the lovely fabrics in there. Make sure you go through. Make sure you check out. Lovely. Right, moving on. I've got what? Aura Fills. Now, this was Chris English, who came on, full English breakfast. Now, this, you won't get this box, but I'm going to... Is this what arrived this morning? Okay, I'm just going to open it. Right, so what you get in here is you get different weights. That's your floss there. Then you've got your... Hang on, let me just check. I've got to get this right, haven't I? Two floss, then we've got two 12 weights. Crash! Two 12 weights, two 28 weights, two 50 weights, and two 80 weights. Oops. There you go. 27.99. 27 pounds and 99 pence. So these are your flosses. They're like embroidery flosses, those two. Now, you will get those two colours. This is the way it was made up. You will get those two colours. So they're your floss. Then I'm thinking that, what's the next one down to a thing? 12. Isn't the 12 the one? Yeah, yeah, is that the, that one or that one? It usually says on the thingy, doesn't it? 12. Yeah, there are your two 12s. So that's for your hand quilting. Then you get your two 50s, which will be those two. They're like your dressmaking weights and everything. Then you get your, oh no, I've gone wrong, I've gone wrong. There's 28 first, there's 28 first. There's your 28s. Then you get your 50s. And then these ones, your very, very fine ones, which are your 80 weights. Beautiful something for everybody in there. 27 pounds and 99 pence. Should be 39.99. But it's not. And they're all signed. You won't get this one, don't worry. They're all signed. $27.99. Fantastico. What click? Oh. Hannah just did a stretch and a back click. That's a good sign. Where would you like? Well, I know Jesse heard it earlier. Yeah. Travel sewing kit. Pink. Right, so what do you get in here then? You get felt, oh it tells you here, in your kit. Felt, wadding, ribbons, buttons, pins, needles, safety pins, embroidery screen, hexagon papers, folding scissors, retractable tape measure and sand. Sand? Still a bit made up. There it is. Ribbon. I've got ribbon and hexa crash. I don't know where my little scissors are in this one. Hang on. Should be watching at home going, John. There they are. There they are. There they are. Your little foldable downables. That's I like one of those bikes you can take on the track. $14.99. Four. Four. <laughs> Fourteen ninety nine for an Alice Mary and Marion Alison kit. Do you need anything? Oh, there's your sand. Do you even get sand to put in your pink cushion? So that's your pink range, your felt, you've got your needles, your pins, your safety pins. Tape measure, ribbon. You do get a tape measure as well in here. Gorgeous, isn't it? And all the instructions, look. Pink cushion. There's your tape measure. It's named after a daughter, Becky. It's cute, isn't it? The whole thing there. This is the pink version. Fourteen ninety-nine. I'd get one of those and put it in your present cupboard. Yeah, my present cupboard's a bit empty at the moment. 
Oh, she's got a candle cupboard. Who do you think you are? Nadine Baggett. Mike, I have got a whole candle cupboard. I have indeed. It's been replenished over Christmas. Beautiful. 14 99 Yeah, mine is in my downstairs bedroom now. So the smell wafts into the hall. It's lovely. Nice. Oh, got that in a different colourway. Blue. The blue. Well, would you say it was blue? The sun blue. Orange. The main base of it is blue. I'm being told off now. Be, just grow up, John Scott. There it is. There is the blue. Very harsh, wasn't it, Jesse? Yeah. <sighs> I don't know why they've called it Blue Buttons, because it's, Be it's called Becky's Travel Sewing Kit. Oh, yeah, but no mention of Becky. Crash in! £14.99. £14, that's the blue version. £14.99, well, blue and orange and green. There's your sand. I wonder if they did it by weight. I wonder if she made Mike sit there weighing out all those little bits of sand. Or did they count grain by grain? Keep going through though. Keep going through. Clearance hour. Fantastic prices. Now, okay, I've got a I've got a a magic magpie here. Oh no, hang on, I've got loads on this side of the table. That goes there. I've got Sew With Beth, so I've got Village Fabrics, and I've got a Magic Magpie. No, it's not called Magic Magpie. The Making Magpie. <laughs> I'm tired now. Sew so With Beth, I've got... It's been... No, it's, the first, it's only the third, isn't it? Which one? 83 or 81? This is that... I did this one with her. It's a, a, a watering can with flowers in it. Keep calm and buy flowers, embroidery, cushion, cover kit. Obviously, you have to make the kit. Oh, look, it's open. I didn't do that. That was already open. But you get the fabric, you get your needle, you get your embroidery skeins, you get your instructions. Oh. 19 99 These were good value anyway. Oh, is it not focusing still? £14.99, five pounds off, £14.99. You get everything, you get everything you need in there. It's got an embroidered panel to the centre front. The reverse is a plain envelope back. The ability to alter the size of the cover makes it suitable for most cushion pad sizes. I don't know why that made me think of puddings then. What did I, why did I think of a pudding then? Suitable for cushion pad sizes, and I thought of puddings. I don't know. I don't know. I'm in a queue. Oh, I'm in a curious mood apparently this year. It's the first time we've seen each other since the start of the year, you see. Where is the moon? There was no moon this morning, I tell you. 14 99 The colourway in this one is your, your yellows and your greens on this one. Okay, I've also got it in a different colourway, in the grey colourway. Excuse me. Yeah, you look at that, I'll just sanitise my hands with this sniff. Crash in. Five pounds off. Fourteen ninety nine. That's this colourway, the grey and the white. That's very um, bijou, isn't it? Not bijou. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't mean bijou. I mean um, you know, very on trend. No, I don't mean that. What I mean is you know those people who do grey houses. Grey house people. Bijou doesn't just have to mean small, though, does it? Well, don't you, aren't you, be, aren't you, don't you call each other bijous? What's that word you all use for each other? Hang on, there's a word that like, all the kids use, not bijou. I'll think of it in a minute. What? B 
Bougie. What does that mean? Fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine. I don't know. I can't keep up with these youngsters. Right, shall we do village fabrics or we do the making magpie? Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Right, which one? Oh, which, I don't look yet. Which one? Thank you, Village Fabrics. This now there's a table runner. You can when you get this, you will get a link to a um, link thing that you go and watch Yvonne making it and cutting it out and finishing it and everything like that. Beginners of oh, twenty nine ninety nine, ten pounds off. That's a third. That's thirty percent off that price tag. Eclectic, Julie says. No, it wasn't. That's not the word I was looking for, Julie. But. I mean, you know, the, not eclectic, but the people who do, oh, darling, just do pale grey. Minimally pale grey, you know, that, and you've moved on now. Twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine ninety nine. 29 Yeah. 29 You're just avoiding what you're supposed to be doing. Hannah's decided to repaint her house because there's paint on special offer in her local painting shop. $29.99. Well, you've got your boyfriend moving in soon. He could do all that. I can't imagine he'd be very good at painting walls. No. $29.99. You get the needles, you get the two threads, hand needle, the label, all the fabric, you get the wadding and the backing. Everything you need to make that lovely table runner. I've got the making magpie coming up next. Yeah. Oh, I can't open it. <laughs> Makes that. Now, the, f the fabric is upcycled, so your fabric could be any fabric in here. You can make two planters from it. You can make a 24 and a 32 centimetre planter in there. Can't guarantee what fabric or what colour it is or anything. Anything, seven ninety nine. You can make two. You can make two. Look, seven ninety nine. Oh, it's gone a bit cold in here now, but it's right. We're nearly done. Nearly done. Lina and some Christmas fat quarters. These are pretty. For some reason, the writing looks smaller on the, when it's on a fat quarter than it does when it's on a half metre, but it's, it's the same. It's the same. It's the same. Right, these should be 49 99 Guess where we're going. Thirty-nine ninety-nine. Oh! Pfft. Thirty-four ninety-nine. So that makes them three pounds. Uh, hang on, I can work this out. Three pound thirty-three, is it something like that? We'll soon see. Each. Three pounds eighteen, even better. Three pounds eighteen each. Loads of you want that. Uh, oh, now there's more people got it in their baskets that are available. Check out, check out, check out, check out, check out. That's all I can say. Well, it's not all I can say, but it's all I'm going to say. Check out. I haven't got all that. Oh, hang on. Underneath the book. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ten-inch layer cake, this one. Or charm pack. No, they call it stackers, don't they, Riley Blake? Stacker. Should be 49.99. Rushing now, because we've only got a few, hour, a few hours, a few minutes left now. <laughs> we have got ours because we have to pack everything away and Jesse takes forever. $39.99. Yeah. That's fine because I've already unpacked. I can go straight off, you see. Beautiful. We've got the soft greys. You've got the whites. Look at that. Isn't that lovely and fresh? Then you've got your gold mustards there. Your clamshells. Hang on, you've got clamshells there in the mustard. Beautiful. You've got your pinks. Oh, it's two left. 
There's two left now. That's all of this very busy clearance hour, this one. Was that making magpie mine, John? It has PW for Princess What's It on the back. Oh, well, yeah, no, it's not yours. That's Princess What's It, because I never used to remember her name, did I? 39.99. 10 inch char that's a 10 inch charm pack, look. That's a hand, but I'll try and show you the size, because it could be, a that way it could be a five inch when you're looking at it like that, couldn't it? 39.99. Now I know you're fibbing. Keep going through. Right, I've got Labour of Love book. Scrappy quilts are the heart of the home. Sherry L. McConnell of the quilting life. I don't know if I've seen this one, have I? 15.99. It's rather gorgeous, this, isn't it? Uh, how much was it? 15.99. Going to 12.99. Not many of these, though. Whimsical stars. Oh, I like the quilting on that one. You see, now we saw another cushion like that earlier, didn't we, in the children's book? And I said, don't put a child there. Also, why would you want a sewing machine next to your bed? And a camera. Oh, well, let's move on. Let's move on. Unusual styling on that one. Then we've got your Dresden plate, scrappy Dresdens. Now, what's that? Yeah, that's a dressing plate, but it's just hanging off the end of the kitchen bench, look. It's not a table, though. It's like an industrial workbench. Then you've got your farmhouse garden. Now, you see, uh, you'd think farm, farmhouse... Well, what? <laughs> I don't Bright colours! If it's farmhouse garden, you want all the bright colours, don't you? Next one. <laughs> this one. Right, I'm going to love sherbet and cream. Yep, I love sherbet and cream. There you go. <laughs> I'm a Miranda. Anyway, that's gorgeous. And they've quilted it with circles, which I think is lovely. Family tree. What are they? Are they chives growing in a jam jar? Cottage charm. Window box. Oh, Grandma's garden. Look. There we go. Then we've got uh, harmony. I thought I saw. T I thought I knew a song with harmony, and then I stopped. Couldn't remember. Laguna. That's nice. Oh, that's some um, log cabin. Look. Done in strips. Oh, look. look. Now I wonder what that design's called. Does anybody know what that putting together is called? Yeah, like with the stripe like that. Because Dulcie, my friend Dulcie, went to stay with a friend of ours over just before New Year. And on the bed was an antique version of this, all hand-stitched, right? And, but it was set like that, so you had a dark strip and a pale strip like that. And I, I rang Jane, I messaged Jane Alcock. He said, I'll get back to you. Assembly in the quilt top. Doesn't say, doesn't say what it is. Light and dark, isn't it? I just looked at the layout with my own eyes. Garden Path, very popular book, only a few left. Sunshine on a rainy day, makes me smile. Sorbet, God, there's a lot in here. 12 99 And there she is. Sherry L. McConnell. I was not going to be a quilter. That starts off at 12 99 I'm not giving it away. You'll want to read it when you get it home. Moving on. I've, oh, look, I've only got two minutes. I've got sensational quilts for scrap lovers, colour thread and free motion. All of these will be crashes. Only three things I haven't done, but... Okay, they will be crashed eventually. Oh, that's sold out. That one's sold out. Do the which one? Sheep on pink. Now, I seem to remember this being exclusive when we first launched this. There you go. Buy the half metre. 6 99 Sheep on pink. Cash in. 
$6.99 goes to $3.99. $3.99. It's too early for she lambs. No, no, no. It'll be in the next couple of months, the first lot. At $3.99. Well, it's planned that way. At $3.99. Look at them. Some of them are upside down. Look at that one there. Oh, what's happening? If you see a lamb like that in the field, you have to go and turn it over. Because they can't always get up. I oh know. They're heavy as well. Yeah. Well, if you've got a bad year, there's lots of them that keep falling over. Yeah, you have to jump over the fence and turn them over. 3.99. On the what? Beautiful. Right, should we look at tomorrow's menu? It's me again tomorrow. There you go. Designer fabric bundles at eight. Catherine Wright is it oh, now. Fabric sampler bag. That's from one of those beautiful, beautiful books. You're going to love it. Sewing room tools at 10 o'clock. Then we've got doorstop and a... Oh, and two projects. Oh, that's right. The doorstop is the cake shop and the plique cushion is the cake shop. A plique is tomorrow. And 3D sewing. That's the new year, new hobby, new skill, new whatever. And then 12 o'clock sewing machines. I've got the 550, 560, 570 and 780 in that hour. Anyway, and also Elna's open from tomorrow. They've been shut all Christmas. They've had all Christmas off at Elna. So let's make it really, really busy. So you have to work really hard. I will see you tomorrow morning. Thanks for your company. Make sure you check out your baskets. Don't think I've got anything else to say to you, so I'll say goodbye.